Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, look at that camera. He's realigning again. How's, how's everyone doing? Everyone's doing lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So today we're going to continue our little adventure into Nuka World. Fairly standard. Just finally just decided to fucking work. <laughs> oh god, this place. OBS, why are you so shit? I actually lined up the uh, webcam properly before I went live, and then I guess it mo thing moved by itself or whatever. Whatever. Anyway, boom. That's the gameplay. <laughs> we're gonna load it up. I don't know how long we're gonna be playing this, but we're gonna be playing some Fallout 4, continuing on Nuka World, and uh, hopefully, bro. Uh, Decent amount of progress done. And I'll probably switch to Mass Effect 3 again in a few hours. So we'll see. Uh, see how that goes. Oh, and my choice of drink today is chocolate milk. Because, uh, it's kind of warm and I wanted some cool, something cool, sweet. So we are chocolate milk. Move the kit. Okay, so I guess I could go and do more stuff. I should look up where the hell what's his best turns up in. You know, the guy that does the arena stuff. Sometimes works in your favor if the chief sees it coming. Get it right. You really should rethink where you stand. No, nope, I have a nut. Rather not. Right, let's go to, uh, let's have a look. where are we? We've done Galactic Zone. We've done, what the hell is this? Play me rewards, eh. Uh, you know what, we could go down south and check out the, uh, hub camp, you know? Some places we haven't explored in the wilderness, so we could do that. Have a go. Cause this is 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 this is after all its own wasteland. There's no point just sticking to the to the main road and doing all the main quests. We should like explore this uh, new wasteland that we have here. Uh, Navagandi. See if we find anything nice, any loot, any enemies we can try and kill or run away from. The biologist camp is down there. Definitely give that a go. Oh, it's ghouls. <gasps> it feels like Tall Duty. Drop shot! There's no drop shots in this game. They don't do much damage, though. That's because they're invested in. First half of this DLC, in the first few sessions, I did invest in uh, top the toughness perk, so I do have a decent amount of damage resistance. Probably still get infected by disease and whatnot, though. Shame. I don't know if it's even a stat that dictates that, whether it's luck, endurance, max endurance. Yeah, I guess max endurance. What the hell is that? Oh. I understand why people would get freaked out by stuff like that. What is this? Goddamn crickets. Okay, fuck this. Slow down time. They're too, too finicky for my liking. A bit too jumpy. Where's that last one? That's somewhere around here. Yeah. Can it go through the bushes? Can it go? Oh, I guess we can move through the bushes. Where are you? There you are. You know, they like, jump around, do a lot of damage, and only give you 13 XP. I feel kind of cheated.
Ah, well. Another camp. Let's just lob a grenade in there. You don't even get killed by grenades. How annoying. I didn't, that, wait, oh god, they got a lot of health. So they do a lot of damage, a lot of health, and they give you fuck all XP. Is that the idea? Seems perfectly balanced. Like upgraded rad roaches, these, aren't they? Oh well. Got another one. Hey, get back here. Well, it seems a bit random. I suppose there's anything, any point to this place? No? No skill book? No nothing? Disappoint me, game. I was kind of hoping for some goodies. Eh. Ah! Oh! Who the fuck are you? <clears throat> Excuse me, gentle ma'am. Are you happy? Truly happy? Oh, the herbologist. Some days, yeah. Some days, no. A common answer. I can show you the path to true happiness. The path to enlightenment through hubology. It can relieve you of your burdens, help you find the true happiness you so desperately want. It can also unlock the true potential of your mind, giving you great mental power. Right, right. And then I'll wake up in the morning missing a kidney. Why would I take your kidney? The neurodynes infest your liver, colon, and spine. But they cannot be cut out with a knife. Only through alignment. When you are ready, come to me. Hi. Back again? Our last talk didn't end so well. Are you happy? Truly happy? Of course not. The radiated monsters are constantly trying to kill me. I may be able to help you. I can show you the path to sure. the path to enlighten. It can relieve you. It can also un. What is hubology? Hubology is the science of unlocking the full potential of the human mind. It brings true happiness and peace to those that walk its long path. Dara is much better at explaining this. She's an AHS nine. Come with me, and she can answer all your questions. AHS-9, is that some sort of code? That is her rank in the Great Wheel of Hubology. I am but an AHS-6. She sits at the hub of the Great Wheel. You can ask her all these questions yourself. Follow me. All right. Don't tell me I have to actually follow you because there's... I hope there's no enemies here because I, I, if you die, I'm probably not going to give a shit. If it breaks the quest, if, if if him dying breaks the quest, uh, well, whatever will be, will be. Stop this. I guess we'll, uh, go off a beaten path. Go down south, uh, data, the stars. Follow him. Still tell me I actually have to follow him. I want to go in there though, I want to see what's, what's this building over here. Some glowy glowies over here, what's that? Is that Deathclaw? Well it was. How killed the Deathclaw? Well, junkyard. Hmm. You must be 
Oh, Jesus. I'm not trying to hide. Well, he hid. Where did that... Where did he go? Oh, he's over here. Fuck the queen! Fuck the country! Sprayed me with rads, that's not good. Oh, we got! <laughs> we got the kick! <laughs> oh my god, we actually got it! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! I can't believe we actually got the perfectly preserved pie. Fucking hell. The stat. <laughs> Hit them stats. Oh my goodness. I can't. <laughs> you can have like maxed out luck and still not have that. Wow. I can't, I can't believe it. That's actually the first time I've ever got that. Oh, it's a broken machine. It's a broken machine. Oh, you you killed the, the you killed the dream. You killed the pogs. <laughs> how you doing, Ramung? That's how you, I, I think that's how I pronounce it. <laughs> oh, you killed the dream. <laughs> ah, an alien. Dark, I'll take that. Power distributor. I have a feeling I'm going to need that soon. Scavish you two. Combat knife and switchblade damage plus 25. Ooh. That's all I need. Something that makes my melee weapons even more ridiculous. That's a guaranteed, like, drop. Ah. Yes. I've never actually... Got on this far into Nuka World, so I legit thought I just got lucky. Oh god, the hype is just see, I just fell away. Oh, right, okay, uh, okay, we've already been up here. Who is that? Oh, it's you. Ah, don't worry about it. You're just trying to help. You've got, you got the information and the know-how. I mean, I, I was tempted to put blind playthrough or first playthrough in the uh, in the tags for this game, but I was like thinking, well, no, it's just the first time playing this DLC. It's not the first time. Like, I'm familiar with the game. Quite familiar with the game. But... So I'm curious, what the hell killed that glowing death claw outside? Because we just we saw a dead death claw on the way in. Surely there's some something nasty out here. Let's look. Oh, what are these? Oh, there's more rats. Get out of here. I want to get infected by these. These are more rats up easy when they give you like a lot more XP than the bloodworms and the uh and the crickets. Oh Jesus! Yeet! I don't even Come 
commencing attack on hostile. I know. So what are my what are my stats at? Because I'm not losing any AP from moving. Oh, that's what that is. I'm not losing any AP from movement at the moment, which is pretty cool. I guess I'm regenerating it faster than I'm consuming it. How's in here? This hurts. Get out. Okay, that's that's a bit much. Get our uh, aid. Where is it? Uh, t -t 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 Where's our vegetable soup, radex, and glowing bud pack? Get some refreshing beverage for good measure as well. Overgrown glowing ant. Huh. If you're not there in combat, increase the accuracy, but it costs more AP. That does not sound worth it, but I'll take a free legendary just sitting there in the open. Hey! Don't be trying sneaky with me! Alright, seems a bit pointless. <laughs> nice and easy. I can't get through that way. You have a lot of grenades. Maybe I should pack, pump up the uh, perception so I can level up explosives because they're not doing much damage. Oh, oh, red trunk. Ultimate UFO. Place fusion car. Oh. Useless. Guess this is something we gotta do later. Whatever. Actually, what's that quest called again? To the trip to the stars, UFO. Yeah, I guess we're jumping ahead of ahead of ourselves here, aren't we? Talk to Dara. At least the guy made it to uh, the hub himself. Or the hub camp. Not the hub. I think the hub is like east coast, isn't it? Or oh, not west coast. Fallout 2 shot. Sort of shenanigans. Right here we're just... Uh... Who's this? Brett Dunmar. Careful now. Don't want any trouble. If you're here to trade, fine. Else, I suggest you move along. 
You and your family live alone out here? That's right. Don't get any ideas. Nick and I were gunners back in the day. We can handle ourselves better than most. Let's see what you have. Gunners, eh? What we got? got some farmer gunners out here. It's a shame you can't, like, like if this is Fallout, like, New Vegas or free, you could probably investigate further. Because, like, uh, I just doesn't have anything unique. Nope, nothing unique. Um, Because like obviously you got a lot of voice, uh, voice Matt. Uh, that Kami Racker does one eighty four because of a glitch. Annoying. Let me send me grenades. <laughs> but like you know, obviously you have to voice act every question. But in like Fallout, uh, New Vegas three, the voice acting budget can go over to the uh, the NPCs. You can ask a load of questions to get a load of background information. Kind of a shame. But yeah, it's not in that in this game, but what can you do? You can use more plasma grenades. Definitely don't I don't have any interest with pulse grenades. Well you use the smart frag grenades. Alright, that'll do us. His wife is here? If you're looking to trade, go find my husband. Otherwise, hey there. Uh, uh, my dad handles the business. I'll just wait here. Daughter, so it's not a kid. We can kill all three of these if we wanted to. Where's, uh, where's the wife? My... Monique. <clears throat> Watch yourself. We don't trust strangers around here. Seems out of nowhere. Alright, what's that? A castle. Oh, what the hell's those? Red Scorpion. Death Scorpion. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I got fire support from over there. Death's good. Oh god. He's still crippled, but he can still burrow and teleport on us. Where is it? Legendary Disciple. <gasps> oh, I want to kill the Disciple. Actually, you know what? Actually, you know what? <laughs> Hate to aggro the Disciples, but... Steadfast plasma pistol. What's this do? Damage resistance whilst aiming. Ooh. Make that fully automatic. I can do some work with that. Just be a super tank. Where is he? Let's 
stuck in the ground. Whatever. Okay, let's ignore it. It's not legendary. And hopefully killing them disciples did not aggro all of Nuka World. Otherwise, we're going to be uh, in for an awkward situation. Uh, more commando. Go. Sure. I'll buy a ticket. How much? Tickets may be purchased for sixty-five dollars. Those without exact change can purchase a ticket from the cashier. Here you go. Enjoy your visit to the Lanchester Mystery Mansion. Kicking or spray painting the animatronic models is prohibited. be washed out not suitable for children under five well see what this is about eh the story of the Grandchester mystery mansion begins with Morticia and Hannibal Grandchester Morticia nearly dies giving birth to their only child, Lucy. Hannibal never wanted a child and resents the young girl for the near death of his wife. Please proceed to the next room. No shoving or pushing. Disruptive behavior will result in being removed. Chester Mystery Mansion. Uh-huh. Seems that we uh go with architectural it. Wrong way. Well certainly more polite than other doors. As a young child, Lucy proves difficult. This very room, her mother read her stories by Shelley and Poe, and histories of the Borgias. With no friends to speak of, she would capture small animals to play with. Their skins were found nailed to the undersides of the furniture. Guests are not allowed to remove items as souvenirs. Uh -huh. Morticia was soon convinced her daughter was possessed. Hannibal was certain he could beat the evil out of her. Morticia complained every morning of ghostly chills afflicting her in this very hall. Taking the advice of her psychic, she persuaded Hannibal to build fireplaces to drive the spirits from it. We are not responsible for injuries of any guests attempting to crawl into the fireplaces. Please proceed to the next room. Oh. Morticia's psychic insisted that Lucy could be saved by driving out her evil spirits. <laughs> Rooms such as this one were built to confuse the spirits, making it more difficult for them to find Lucy. One morning, Hannibal... 
devil came in here to find a doll that looked suspiciously like him swinging from a noose. Climbing on the ceiling furniture is strictly prohibited. Please proceed to the next. Hannibal's favorite cook quit when Lucy put mice in the stew. Wait, why is it a gunner? So this is also where Lucy first attempted to kill her parents by poisoning the dessert. Hannibal walked with a cane after that. Lucy quickly learned to stay out of range of his swing. Guests are asked to refrain from using the kitchen spoons as swords and dueling with them. Please proceed. Probably a story behind that, right? Spoons and sword fighting, or spoon fighting. Maybe it's just an intense game of a uh, knifey spoonie that went wrong. Kite. No, I need a master. Uh. I heard a red roach. Oh god. Okay. I think I got stun locked out of using a bloody stim pack there. Because I pressed the button. What do you mean unknown location? Wait, what? No, 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 no. Yeah, that's weird. I thought the game corrupted then. What's this? Oh, my is rising. To the next. Morticia's oh. psychic insisted that Lucy could be saved by driving out her evil spirits. Rooms such as this one were built to confuse the spirits, making it more difficult for them to find Lucy. We need the key. One morning, Hannibal came in here. Find a doll that looks Just sat, sit through the entire thing, yeah? Swinging from a noose. Climbing on the ceiling furniture is strict. Hannibal's favorite cook quit when Lucy put mice in the stew. This is also where Lucy first attempted to kill her parents by poisoning the dessert. Oh, pff. I had the missile launcher out. Oh dear, how the hell do I throw two grenades in there and it doesn't even scratch the paint on that guy? I understand. Oh cool, I didn't even, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did press save, but whatever. Guess we'll do this room again. Please proceed. Morticia's psychic insisted that Lucy could be saved by driving out her evil spirits. Rooms such as this one were built to confuse the spirits, making it more difficult for them to find Lucy. One morning, Hannibal came in here to find a doll that looked suspiciously Don't have like the key. him. Swinging from a noose. Climbing on the ceiling furniture is strictly prohibited. Hannibal's yeah. favorite cook quit when Lucy put mice in the stew. This is also where Lucy first attempted to kill her parents by poisoning the dessert. Hannibal walked with Yes, I don't understand grenades. So why I don't know why we want grenades are so shit in this game. To stay out of range of his swing. Unless it's like out in an open area, like it's are asked to refrain from using fucking useless. As we pass back through the parlor, notice the stairway going nowhere. This was yet another attempt by Morticia to confuse the evil spirits possessing her daughter. It is not permitted to dangle small children over the railing as you proceed to the next room. Madam 
Madame Scarlata conducted seances in this room for Morticia in an attempt to drive the evil spirits from her daughter. Lucy would sit in the room above this one and knock on the ceiling during seances. Madame Scarlata once accused the little girl of trying to push her down the stairs. That's stealing. There's no need to be scared. Modern science has proven that ghosts are not real and seances. When the Grandchester Mystery Mansion was sold at auction, several trick candles were found here. Please proceed Approach and to the next identify room. yourself. Law abiding citizens. Engaging you will hostile. <gasps> you will see the collected artifacts from Lucy Grandchester's short time on this earth. Oh shit, I lost a load of health in that one hit. Game wasn't even good enough to fucking tell me until I actually went to heal. Yeah, well, good night. Those assault trams are nasty. Oh god, grenade. Smash your face! Everything else. Also, sometimes jet does go on a bit too long. Taurus traction here. Done browsing. Please proceed to the next room. Oh, this is the gift shop, isn't it? After ah! What the hell was that? Okay, why was I like walking in slow motion? I couldn't even move out of the way of that. What the fuck? Oh, I guess I hit caps lock by mistake. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dearie me. But I didn't even like trigger anything. Like I I've got the sneak skill, so I shouldn't trigger anything. Lucy's evil. Oh, oh no. Got it. She was holding them in self defense as he tried to beat her with his cane. She said he tripped and fell onto the scissors. Yeah, right. so he couldn't hold the cane again. Lucy's mother was found dead in the master bedroom with a cloth doll stuffed in her mouth. Her wrists had rope burns, but no ropes were ever found. <gasps> Lucy insisted that the doll was solely responsible because Morticia wouldn't give her a kiss good night. Lucy was committed to an asylum. On her 18th birthday, she escaped. Nine days later, she was found. 
found hanging in the attic, dead from an apparent suicide. Please proceed to the next room. Hmm? Let's do this! Why is there a gunner here? Zachariah? Who the fuck is Zachariah? He has a lot of health. You know what? Let's give him the good stuff. Grandchester Mansion Key. What the hell is this deal? Why the hell is a random gunner in here? Oh, is that, I guess. Oh, five entries. Ugh, I can't be asked reading that. Oh, Winlock and Barnes, that's part of the uh, McCready storyline. Duke of Punch. No idea what it does. Guess we'll find out when we get there. When we get to a crafting mixing station, I guess. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Love you, Oops. Don't think I can pick this. Where? What about the first key that we... First master lock. There must be something out here. This is that shark cut out. Still, there's more to it than this, right? Well, there's old flowers around the uh, edge of the house, so I guess there's, there's that. We can make some more psycho. Hmm. Eh, not too impressed here. Look at that key that we got. Unlock that room in the earlier section. Rhea? There we go. 
basement. Don't go in the basement. It's like horror movie one on one basement stuff. I think I heard a rad roach. Oh, yep, there it is. Maybe ill. Of course it did. Ugh. Well, they all are. <laughs> but I'm um, most of these people. It's all random corpses. They all have like ran the same bloody loot as well. So, no like key for that room upstairs then? Do I actually need to have Master Watt picking for that? Kind of sucks if that's the case. Looks really strong. I guess there's no keys for a little closet over here. If there is, I, I don't know where it is. Don't know where it is, so we'll just have to make do without, right? Power armor? What? Whip any power armor. Oh, enter any power armor. Oh, this is that farm. Okay. Oh, the red red scorpion dug its way out of the ground. Still crippled.
my looks out here as well. Albino. Ugh. This flamethrower does work against him at least. Let's tattered. We're about to enter the glowing sea part of this map. Can't go that way. Oh no, this is out of bounds. It's like the edge of the world. Yeah. On the terrain stands to look interesting. Oh, I like this card when it fucking ignores me. Real fucking great. I'm gonna do this now. Settings. Okay, 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 okay. And I go down to. Uh, Streamer mode, okay. Hell stream mode. Oh, my God. Uh, high personal information. Hiding file links. Disable sounds. Okay, that's that's the ship. Still fucking there, but still beeps at me. Oh, I hate that. Hate it when settings are ignored. Okay, there's an interesting looking thing. Oh, there's a treehouse over there. That's a key. Ah! <laughs> That's a bit too close. Break your legs. All these murder crabs don't really have much in the way of health, do they? Alright. Your legs belong to me! That's a dead, that's a dead crab. There we are. God damn, my look, queens. I walked over that patch of water as well, didn't I? Didn't even wake her up. Very sneaky. I'm thinking like, okay, this is a swampy area. But my lurks, where's the queen? Well, found her. Well, she found us. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, what was that treehouse? Oh, no, it's not a treehouse, it's a sign. I'm dumb. <sighs> god. Oh, god. Oh, my god, that's, that's highly radiated. Yeah, I'll do it. Do a quick save and see if there's actually anything in the back of there. Combat shotgun, explosive box. Yes. There's nothing really out of that. Worth using out of there. Hey, you know what? I do have those anti. Anti uh rads 
Crush resist orange. See what we got over here. Well, just camp. Ah, oh, okay. Giant fire hydrant. Another new recruit. We'll see if you've got what it takes to be a hubologist. Welcome to our camp. We're hubologists. I'm Tula. I'm only in AHS-1 right now, but I have an alignment scheduled soon. I can just feel the neurodimes flooding your system. You really should get an alignment soon. Hey there. Are you ready to throw off the shackles of your neurodimes? Herbology takes commitment. A small donation of 50 caps shows your commitment to self-improvement. You will take some rads during the procedure, so make sure you're healthy before starting. Isn't the first one supposed to be free? I suppose I can do that. Have a seat in the Zeta Alliance. All right, I don't know what the hell uh, this will be. Yeah. Oh god, I pressed the wrong button. Ugh. Zeta Aligner. Oh, it's out here. Wait, oh, no, that's that's the woman. Where the hell's the Zeta Aligner? Oh, that, that's supposed to be it there. Yeah. And we gotta do this in slow motion and high as a kite. <laughs> That's all we need, eh? Right? Holy fuck. Made a mistake here, haven't we? I mean, how many times do we have to can we do this before we just end up killing ourselves? So many of them. What have you been doing? Good, good. Good. The Zeta rays are withering them. Well, some of them at least. And we're done for now. You'll need many more treatments. Congratulations. All right, you're going to calibrate me again, Mr. Garrus, voice actor. That stands for Aligned Hub Seeker. You have taken the first step on the wrong journey. Here are your robes. Ooh. Hi. Our newest member. Welcome, AHS-1. Are you ready to do battle with your neurodimes? We ask for a modest commitment of 100. You'll take a bit more rads than last time, so make sure you're healthy before taking this alignment. Uh, sure. I am ready. I look so weird in that chair. Where's he going? He just ripped me off. He paid, and I ran and ran away. I also have to get up and then do it again, and then sit in the chair again. Let me start up the Zeta ring. Yeah, I guess I have, I have to get out of the chair and guess the uh, the process starts when I when I press uh, use on the on the chair. Hmm. Locking on to the neurodimes. You seem to have gathered almost as many as I removed before. You really should be more careful about the company you keep. And we're done for now. You'll need many more treatments. Well done, AHS two. Of course, you'll need more treatments. Neurodimes build up with the exposure to infected people. That's why we recommend only interacting with other herbologists. <clears throat> You're doing well, AHS2. In your last alignment, I saw unhealthy attachments to suppress you. Very difficult to treat. However, you'll only need to donate 250 caps. Of course, the uh, uh, rad dosage is a bit higher, too. You're all charlatans. Neurodimes, suppressors. It's just a you are no better than the other. No way. Excuse me. 
I cannot help you. What? No! Oh my god, we just we just undid our we just did und undid all of that. Can't even like. <laughs> uh no. Simply sit and wait. There's madness. Locking on to the neuroguide. You seem to have gathered almost as many as I removed before. You really should be more careful about the company you keep. And we're done. For now. You'll need many more treatments. Well done, AHS-2. Of course, you'll need more treatments. Neurodimes build up with the exposure to infected people. And that's why we recommend only interacting with other herbologists. <clears throat> You're doing well, AHS-2. In your lab, mm -hmm. very difficult to treat. Right. Of course, the... Uh -huh. I simply sit in this Ada Ark. All right, let's see if this kills us. I think, we have to, start up aids. Well, I think we have to like get to like. I guess we have to go up to rank ten or whatever the fuck it is. However, the highest is, and we get a perk. I'm assuming that's how it's going to work out. Zeta rays are destroying us, and we're done for now. You'll need many more treatments. You are now officially an AHS three. Congratulations. <clears throat> I cannot help you. Dara has said your treatment must wait until we have achieved our goal. Once we have control of the junkyard, you can receive another alignment. Oh! Okay. I guess it's capped by the progression of this faction, I guess. I see you brought me a new recruit. Thank you, friends. If you come seeking answers to life's great questions, Habology has them. While I sincerely hope you'll join us, even if you don't, I'm in need of a person of action. Herbology? What is that? Before the Great War, a brilliant writer named Dick Hubble invented a process for expanding the human mind. Through the process of alignment, he was able to give his followers great mental powers. I am his direct descendant and keeper of all his secrets, collectively known as Habology. If you are really interested in joining us, go speak to Phil about having an alignment. We can help you find inner peace and happiness. We can help you master the amazing powers of the mind. I'm always for hire if the price is right. Good. We need space suits, like the one I'm wearing. I'll pay you 200 caps for five of them. I've learned that there are some in the galactic zone of Nuka World. I lost two followers trying to get them ourselves. I'm hoping you'll have more luck. What do you need space suits for? I suppose there is no harm in telling you. They will protect us in the battle to come. Eh, I'll need more than that for this job. Okay, I'll give you 250 caps. You know what, I don't need the money. I'll just I've already got the keep it calm, keep Blessing. it chill. It was truly fated that we meet. Here is your payment. There is something else, though. We need to take control of the spaceship in the junkyard. Will you help us? I already cleared the junkyard. You can just walk in. Amazing. You truly were sent by the hubs. Let's go tell the others. Everyone gather. Form the wheel. The wheel? Oh, wheel. Excuse me. Hey, fucking hurry it up here. I ain't got all day. I am The time has come. The hub's grand plan can enter its next important phase. All of your hard work has borne fruit. Our new friend has liberated the junkyard. It is time for us to take control of it. But first, here are the spacesuits I promised you. They may be a bit snug at first, 
but they'll protect you. What is this? Is this a remake of Come Fly With Me from uh, New Vegas? Where's she running off to? She's eager. Hey there. We'll talk in a minute. First, I must address the faithful. Alright, so I'm going to assume that we're going to have to escort these people across the wasteland into the junkyard. Hopefully. Oh god, they're already fighting stuff. What's going on over there? I'm going to... Okay, slow motion. I have no faith in these guys. They're wearing spacesuits. They're probably not even protected. Shit, one of them's already dead. Oh, wait, no. He's fine. Oh, rats. You know what, 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 uh, we, are we under the effect of any drugs? Uh, sort of. Alright, not all of them, but go with aid and just start pumping it out. I get the feeling like we're going to need some of this stuff anyway. Cotton candy bites, ew. So, oh, probably a bit overkilled here. I mean, our health is super high. Alright, guys, let's try and survive this, yeah? Plague rats. I got a feeling that they're just giving us like all the little tiny enemies like rats and shit just to like lower our defenses. And then we'll end up with like something a lot nastier. Look at how is just running for the hills over here. Huh? Oh, blood worms. That'll do it. No part of the blood worms. As I was say, this has like leg crippling abilities, this, uh, this uh, weapon. Oh, there you go. No, oh, where's its corpse? Oh, wait, it's there. It's there. It's there. Give us a good. You know, Slayer's hunting rifle. Eh.
Oh yes, she is. I'm scared. I'm gonna accidentally catch somebody. The flamethrower. You know. It's over. Like we had a uh, that dead death claw, glowing death claw up ahead, so why well, question what the hell we've got here? Oh shit! There's don't tell me some of them are getting killed. Oh no, that's not that's not good. That's the last thing I want to see. Forty four pistol time slows down. We all survive. So they all got separated. They better not have uh You know, united we stand and all that malarkey, come on. Still glowing. What was your head count? Hey, we'll talk in a minute. First, I must address the faithful. Come on, hurry up. Where the hell are you going? We? we could not have won without our newest member, but our work is not done yet. Taking the spaceship is not <sighs> enough. It must be made to fly again. It must be ready to take us to our destiny. Soon you will earn the great greatest reward Hobology has to offer. For now, rest and celebrate. You have earned it. Hey, what a glorious battle. You were magnificent. I promised you a payment. This gun was passed down from the hub himself. Take great care with it. Oh, an alien blaster. Critical shots do double damage and the critical meter fills faster. Ooh. See the spaceship is already running too. Into the spaceship, everyone. We need to run a test of the system. Wait, use free fusion cars? I put I put more see that the hub's prophecy is true. I put more than free in there. Uh I put more than free in there. That that, that should be fine, right? Hi. Isn't this exciting? Excuse me. Welcome back, AHF-3. It's time for a fresh alignment. We'll be treating more deeply rooted neural dimes. You'll need to donate 500 here. The radiation is also strong, so make sure your rads are low. Hi. Never thought I'd Hi. live long enough we to see this spaceship in working. Debt. Without you, we would not be on the path to redemption. The path of our destiny. All right, let's see what happens. Visions. I'm seeing visions. Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Something's wrong. Shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I guess uh more than three <laughs> equals death. What the fuck? 
I just blew them up. No. Well, that happened. Space costume and helmet. Oh, Diara. I guess uh, we d guess we're not going to get any more uh, leveling up from the hub. Well, there to that. That sun is piercing through through the blinds, as you can see it on the green screen back there. On my arm, and now it's on the green screen. Oh, that's a white dot down there. Kind of weird. All right, so I guess that's uh, that's the hub, hub stuff. I feel like there should be some some shit around here. I don't know. I wonder what that's all over there as well. That seems like there should be something over there. I wouldn't be surprised if that was part of the final mission. To be honest. Look how quick that moves. That's so that's so dumb. Death skull. Ooh. Aren't you intimidating? Gives us the most uh, XP though. Take more hot flowers though. Hey, fatty shit pants, how you doing? How you feeling? Call that girl back. Wow, this uh, this problem solver is actually a really good gun. I haven't even like fully upgraded it yet. Hell with this, I can't be asked fighting all these little tiny little crablings. Go inside this little house, see if anything anything cool in here. What the hell? Oh, there's a fence. <laughs> Didn't see that fence. There's not really much to comment on in this, in these, uh, in this, some of these locations. It kind of reminds me of like when I was playing, uh, oh wow, fucking hell, what happened? I blinked and I went inside that house and then it went and became daytime. Like, whatever. This game does look really nice during the day. Uh, try to.
Ah, uh, just drop her a text rather than a phone call then. Drop her a text and see what happens. Uh oh. Maybe she wasn't available to uh, answer, or maybe she was too busy to answer. Who knows? Ah, oh, I dropped a text and hasn't hasn't got back to you. How long how long ago did you text her? Have I been there or yet already? Don't know. Suppose we'll find out. Hey, 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 hey! <gasps> oh, the mind he mutated and di died in midair before he even got got to him. No, I want left arms, and that's not even a good legendary ability. Hey, Johnny Sons! Policeman, doctor, fireman, live streamer. He does it all. <laughs> How you doing? This is what I you know. I don't really use the uh, problem solver that much because uh, I'm usually in a different build. But since I've got plenty of uh, perks, I'm like over leveled here and got plenty of perks left to spend. Uh, I've got a bit. Sticking stuff into commando because I don't usually do rapid fire stuff, but hey, you know what? Chance to st stagger opponents at rank five and four and five. I mean, come on, stun lock them with this, mm. and all that damage gets ramped up as you uh, it like it's like a debuff or something. Like, you might more, you more shoot something, the more damage you do to it. Next to Monday, and oh, it's Wednesday today, isn't it? Ah, uh, fair enough then. Add your phone. I guess it's time, time to uh, move on. I won't let, would it? Wouldn't let it get to you. I mean, some people don't even get that, you know. I, mean, I wish I could offer better advice, but. I'm not much in, I'm not a, not much of a stud myself. I mean, I look like a stud, but I don't act like a stud, so. What the fuck? Animation. Guys. Oh, wait, this is the, oh, I know where we are. We're back at the beginning. Oh, we can go back to the uh, wait, Commonwealth over here, can't we? Don't really want to though. Can't let. I do have a few couple of ranks of uh, commando, so I should be able to upgrade this, the automatic part of this gun to something decent. What's going on here? What are you guys fighting? Sort of that over there. Oh, scavengers. <laughs> Why is it got a beast? Huh? Hey there. Hi. How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? Yeah. What's that noise? Does it? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe she's just having a lazy period. Cause like, there's been times where people send me messages and I just can't be bothered. 
reply not talking to people, so I don't reply to them for a good while. Uh, I mean, I guess it's it's a very I ignorant thing for me to do, but like, like I said, I think everyone, I think everyone in my food chain, whatever. I think it's perfectly natural to not be bothered. Like people, sometimes people can't be bothered replying or don't feel very talkative, so they'd rather be left alone for a short while. There's been times where like people have been messaging me and I'm like, oh, leave me alone. But I just don't tell them to leave me alone. I just leave, ghost them for a short period. It's not nothing malicious. It's just, uh, it's it's all me just being too lazy and antisocial, you know. So maybe she's doing the same thing. I won't get too obsessive over it. Because uh, that's when you start tearing yourself apart uh, mentally and emotionally. You don't want to, you don't want to go to, go into a mindless, uh, a mindless like a mind loop where you keep thinking the same thing and you're going down a rabbit hole of dark thoughts and stuff. Because that's the, uh, that's what that's where depression and anxiety start rearing at their ugly heads, and you don't want that. That's bad for your health, bad for your mental health. So. I just say, you know, if she doesn't get back to you within a week, uh, take it as an L and move on. You know. Might be a very pessimistic attitude, but, uh, kind of reduces the, uh, the damage, you know? Ah, so it's not like so it's not like you're losing a good friend. It's not like uh, you know you, fa you have you have someone you're friends with for a few for for a good while, and then you know you go out on a date, goes wrong, and then it's awkward, and then you cut contact. That's ghosting you, like nothing too major. Again, you had your phone, so and not many people even get that. We're back in the gauntlet again here, but I don't want anything. I don't want to be up here. That's what can I actually? Could I, I? I doubt I could escape this place on the first run through. I don't know. It was chained from the other side, wasn't it? So definitely not. this gun uh yeah definitely op i'm not even specting for it like I've, i'm spec for unarmed and big guns i've only got two points in the uh automatic weapon build build but the uh this weapon here uh, oh cool cars arena when's that guy gonna show up so i can do his uh redo the gauntlet and all that jazz you're lucky miss is in charge if we're up to me but uh the, yeah the Oh, problem solver thing. It's uh, you know increased damage after each consecutive hit. So the more we shoot it, the more damage you do. It's another, and I got that as a quest reward from the pack. Um, oh not a quest reward. It's like a speech check reward. You can actually buy uh, another weapon with the same uh, stats, same legendary effects called the splatter cannon from the market here. You can essentially own two of the same weapon. Pretty funny, and that's not counting the legendary random legendary drops. I'd bring my kids here someday, not for all these favors. All right, let's have a look. Uh, break that down. I don't know why I need it. 
Problem solver, automatic receiver. Say I only have enough to get the armor piercing one, which isn't even worth. That's the point. All right, fuck it. I'll give it the sharp barrel. How about that? Shovel stock. Pistols, rifles, grenades, and every other kind of weapon you need. Yeah, he like rank four commando for all the decent stuff. Oh, I don't know why he's raffling them for suppressed one. Weapons of all kinds, yours for a fair price. Operators don't even look worth using. Oh, whatever. Bit cheesy. I right, have a bit. Let's get out of here. Gun's a bit OP, but uh, I've 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 used weapons that are much worse than that before. So Mason earned his place at the top. Don't forget that. Right, I guess uh, if we go to quest. This is the fiery zone, right? The only place that's left is Safari Zone, right? Oh, yeah, it is. Huh. Like more areas up here at north. Oh, what's this? Like water. Some sewer. Do the auto walk. I had to spot a cannon fully spec'd out, I ripped through a legendary Milot Queen in seconds, it was a joke. Yeah, like... Not supposed to hurt the other gang. No rule against chicken liver soup, you know? <laughs> yeah, like... Ridiculous. I mean, my well, at the moment, what weapon I have at the moment is Sergeant Ash, which is a flamethrower you can get in the uh, Far Harbor DLC. And what that does is it get, has like a high chance, I think it's 25% chance? Cripple a target's leg? Yeah, no, 20% chance. So 1 in 5 chance of of hitting a target's leg. And obviously, like, that, a legendary effect like that is really good on, on automatic weapons. And obviously the flamethrower, it's not just automatic, it's more of a spray. So you're pretty much guaranteed to break, break a target's leg, like, near enough instantly. So stuff like Death Claws, uh, Rad Scorpion, anything that can like run in on you uh, becomes a complete joke. And, and again, that's that's not even a that's not even a random drop. That's something you can just go to New uh, to Far Harbor and buy. I mean, hopefully we'll come across a Death Claw at some point. The no problem is I can't aim for shit, so. Duelist left leg. No, I'm not interested. I mean, my build at the moment is pretty overpowered because like, if you see here, look, carry weight, 8,380 out of 410, and I'm moving at full speed, if not. Actually, I'm moving at about the same speed as, sprint, as, as people do when they sprint, so. 
that's all thanks to like all this movement speed gear. And I've got a top hat as well that, that increases. So I've got like all my uh, armor increases my uh, movement speed by 40% in total. And you can you know move that over with the uh, perks I have. I can like you know with the strong back five uh, moving target not uh, moving target three. I can actually. Uh, Use AP point action points to uh to, to move, and um, but even though it says sprinting costs fifty action points, even though it says sprinting here, because you're consuming action points whilst moving, it kind of the game thinks you're sprinting, so that actually affects the uh the, the standard movement that you get from here. So you've basically got half the AP cost for moving whilst over encumbered, and then you've Add all the uh, nice drugs and food and all sorts of nice little buffs that we have. On top of that, uh, we're, not, we're barely losing AP for moving. So we're pretty, pretty much like, with the way we got our build, we've ca essentially got infinite carry weight. And, uh, you know, for good measure, I've maxed out our endurance and, and action points. Uh, endurance and agility, so we've got, uh, you know, a lot more AP and less AP consumption. But it's pretty ridiculous. New Vegas. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because like there wasn't that many. Uh, they were all in. They were all in packs a lot of the time. It was a. Uh, and they could really. There wasn't really much many ways to to deal with them because like in, at least in Fallout Three you had you could like craft the dart gun, and like break the leg. That would you know you could slow them down a bit. Uh, New Vegas didn't really have that luxury. Uh, I mean, there's there's ways you can build the uh, yourself in New Vegas. Like my, I used to, my favorite build in New Vegas. Uh, as you know, you you, were, you watched you, you know you watched me when I was streaming New Vegas was unarmed and melee. So I was I was able to like at least stun lock him and flat and knock him to the ground on a frequent basis. But uh. You're playing like you know, if you play a shotgun build, you can use stay back to floor them as well. But like playing like something, you know, somebody that uses like fully automatic weapons or a uh, you know a rifle or a cowboy build, like you're not really you, you haven't got many knockback powers. Actual charges and yeah, I guess mines work, but sometimes you got you gotta you gotta take a bit of preparation to that one because sometimes it's like oh shit there's something coming towards me I'm gonna drop a mine and by the time you drop a mine it'll fly towards you blow hit and blow both of you up and chances are the the death claw's still alive I guess it all depends on what level you you're at when when this happens this over here Oh Jesus! No! Well, there's somebody, there's some dead person here. It's like end of the end of the end of the rail line or something, or like a train station for like the uh, monorail. I did start a character on New Vegas recently. Because I wanted to like see if I can uh, do an explosives build. I actually did a video on YouTube uh, where I did a, uh, what do you call it? I did a tier list for, uh, for the New Vegas perks. About two hours of me just sitting there rambling and talking. So if you're into that sort of thing, uh, go check it out. It's on my YouTube channel. Uh, you might have to dig past all the Mass Effect videos that have been published there lately, but I wouldn't mind doing more tier lists in the future. I mean, it's you know, it's a fad, fad, you know, these uh, tier lists, but some people get entertainment out of them. 
Oh god, my back. <laughs> I need to get like a proper like pillow for the back and for the, like a bit something that's a bit more softer for the for my lower back because this chair I've had this chair for about seven years now. It's not it's still a nice chair, but it's uh but it's not a gamer chair as uh, people use sometimes. Thirty one XP just for cooking. You know what? You don't get much XP for killing crickets, but cooking, the cooking their meat uh, definitely has a lot to it. Were they? I don't know. I don't. I don't. It's been a while since I've played free, and I, I played free the least, so I don't. I couldn't. I couldn't tell you where I'd rate the rarity of of uh, stealth boys. And to be fair, I don't use stealth boys that often. I know you can like get a stealth boy at the start of New Vegas. One from uh, Joe Cobb's, and one from the safe in Good Springs. You know when you go into the schoolhouse. And I think you can like follow the uh, come fly with me quest line, you know, read the computer, and go to a location with his stuff, but then I'm not 100% sure on that. Oh yeah, you get you get stealth boys from uh from the uh, the guy at the safe house, right? I mean, I usually just do that with, uh, just to get the lucky shades and then I'll betray them. A good way to, like, get liked by the N by the Legion without pissing off the NCR is to just pickpocket, uh, NCR dog tags from, from so NCR soldiers and then hand them in at Cottonwood Cove and then you can boost your rep with the Legion without any negative effects with the, uh, NCR. Or you could just do all your shit before the uh, before the Benny encounter, because that's like a reset on on rep. Depends what you're going for, really. Don't have dirty water. <gasps> I don't mind stealth boys, but they're uh, not foolproof. I've never, I, I could do with a, uh, I, my favorite like consumable to take in New Vegas is turbo, where, I, where you slow down time. That's just, that's just so, much, just so much fun about being able to slow down time is really good. Yeah, yeah, you get those, you get those supply boxes knit just not too far from Cottonwood Cove that's got like shitload of ammo, energy cells, uh Legion coins and stuff like that. Like I always whenever I went to that supply cache I always ended up over encumbered because it was like there was so much ammo that it provided you. I think it like gave you the uh the government ammo, didn't it? Like the really heavy uh lever action revolver stuff. It was like proper, proper generous. Insane how uh, how much you got.
get back here. It's like, bloodworms don't provide much XP, but they fucking hit like a truck. No good. I think I've discovered that red rocket, yeah? I have. Keep go traveling this road. So I like the, uh, so I'm guessing you're like a fan of Lily, because like she has uh, the companion perk where she like, I think the, I think I think it's her perk, like she makes like stealth boys last longer if you have her in your, in your party. I'm guessing you're into that, into having her as a, t as a teammate, you don't have to use as many as well if you, if the duration lasts longer. See, what I would do, if I was doing like a stealth boy build, I would like, go with chemist. And then like, craft a lot of turbo, so that way like, if I'm trying to do a, st like a stealthy area, I'd like, hit the stealth boy, slow down time, and then move around undetected. You know, obviously get like, travel light and uh, tunnel runner to move faster. And the, I guess the implant from Old World Blues, so you've got like, really fast sneak speed. As well as time slow down and a stealth boy, they won't even be able to see you. Um, in theory, like I mean, it's I I, mean, I always thought stealth was kind of weird in in Fallout Three and New Vegas anyway, because like you could be like a hundred sneak, but like pit pocketing was still really hard, and enemies could still see you a lot of the time. But in like stuff like Fallout and Skyrim, you could like sneak up to people and be stood right in front of them. Oh, sneak critical damage. I mean, that's that's all you need as well. Not, really, not much music with this. Uh, it's just all ambience. Like walking around, it's like dead silent. That's why I'm trying to. I don't want to turn on the radio because copyright, ew. You know, I am missing out on, uh, on the, on the, wait, where is the new world radio? Because it's not out in this area. Huh. What's that over there? Is that a dam? Is this a goddamn? Can't go that way. Yeah. You can like stack up all them sneak, all them criticals as well, like better criticals, professional, ninja. There's a lot of like crit stacking you can do in the, in the, in New Vegas. I have an idea for a build. That I want to do, and it's like a build where I want to make the the standard minigun like good. But so let's face it, the uh, minigun kind of sucks. You know, I've got critical strike on it on that thing there. I always have the demolition perk. Expert perk. Ooh. See, the thing with me is like I, I. All right, let's, let's have a look. See what we got here. You got no legs! You got no legs! Look at that! 
broke its legs. It's useless. It can't. It can't fight me. Oh, it has a lot. Oh god, it's got friends. I don't know, because, like, I always have a habit of, like, throwing, like, dynamite. Like, I, like, throw my grenades. But, like, as the second one will always get blown up in my face because of the... It will blow up prematurely because it will hit get detonated by the splash damage of the first grenade. Uh, so that can that can cause havoc. I mean, in, in VATS, it's not so bad, but... Like I said, like I, said I, tr I just started a... Uh, a character on New Vegas, not not for live streaming, but like just for private use. Uh, trying out a uh, demolitions expert build. So we'll see how that turns out. I mean, I don't even have demolitions expert on this character, and, and my rocket launcher is doing a good good amount of damage because of the uh, big guns perk. But the idea, the idea is to, uh, for like making a good minigun build, because the minigun, like I said, the minigun is a pretty shit weapon. Is uh, obviously you want to go with uh, big guns here for double damage, uh, and what I want, you know, you know, and uh, better criticals as well. So when you max that out, you're doing like two point five more damage on better criticals, and uh, the chemist perk as well. And the idea is to, uh, you know, and obviously, yeah, obviously you can use like bloody mess as well to also boost your damage and all the upgrades. But the idea is to uh, use the drug overdrive, wherever that is, overdrive, which is give, it gives you a, a one in four chance of uh, getting a critical hit. And what this does is uh, you get critical hits outside of VATS. So basically it kind of turns it, makes it kind of like Fallout New Vegas and... And free where it's just a random crit rather than a you know something that's in only happens in vats. And with that, you can you know with all the dam you know the better criticals and the damage boosts from this, you can actually like do a lot of damage just by firing out your weapon. You know, if you've got a minigun and you're firing out you know a load of bullets per second, you know you're gonna do quite a bit of damage. That's the idea. And then if you find a legendary minigun, hey, you're in luck. But Obviously, even then, you probably are better off getting a different weapon. <laughs> you know, getting a flame a flamethrower would be better anyway. The good thing about the flamethrower is it doesn't even have a. Uh... <gasps> What's that? I would like to thank you. Ice Lord Dronin. What is this? Oh, just to be with you. It's having the best day of my life. Thanks for the follower, Ice Lord. Truly not worthy of, of being followed by a Lord of Ice. Hope you're enjoying your uh, enjoying your day, enjoying your evening, whatever time it is where you're at. And um, hope you're enjoying the stream. Just ice, please, as a, that is my army calling card. Oh, it's been alright. Just been chilling. Uh, spent half the day sleeping, and now I'm uh, playing some Fallout 4, doing some Nuka World. I, I kind of haven't been doing the main quest, I've just been traveling around, just did the herbology stuff. What's that over there? And now we're just walking around, killing shit. Just walking around the outsides of the uh, map, just to see what this place holds because it's my first time playing Nuka World properly. Oh wait. So it's uh quite quite an experience. Character's like level 79, so pretty over leveled, but it's still survival difficulty so we can take damage pretty quick. We can receive damage fairly quickly. There's no shit as I Medical leave. No, Perth, Scotland. Well, nothing too serious. You didn't get shot in the ass, did you?
Was it sick or injury? Hopefully, hopefully you'll get better soon and get back on, back to your duties and all that fun stuff. Uh, my look queen. Well, you know, my look queens. You know what? Yeah, my look queens are pretty gross. But they do like. I like the fact that they feel like a boss. You know, I mean, they're easy to deal with. But like the first time you play Fallout 4, then my look queens when they pop out of the ground and start yelling at you, especially like the one at the castle and it's like. One in a basement somewhere, like stuff, stuff like that. It's really intimidating. It, it, you know, he pops out, makes a loud noise, shoots a lot of poison all over the place. You know, with all the little hatchlings coming at you. Obviously, if you have a flamethrower that breaks their legs, uh, kind of trivializes that matter, doesn't it? Safari. Oh, we're at the safari adventure. Couldn't tell because it's pretty dark out here. At least it's dark on my screen. It looks pretty bright and colourful on, on, on the stream. Never know. Uh, what, are you, what are you locked up in hospital for then? Is... What was that? Is that Deathclaw? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, Gator Claw. Fuck, it's a Gator Claw. Oh, there you are. Oh, there's two of them. Hey, look at you trying to be sneaky. There you go. <laughs> Just the power of the fl of the of Sergeant Ash right here with the with the flamethrower that can break legs. <laughs> this is supposed to be hard. Oh no, don't brag doll him, I want to loot the corpse. Can I get a Gator Claw gauntlet? Huh. Where's the third one? Oh, uh, whatever. Mine looks creepy. I mean, what do you like the better, the Fallout 3 New Vegas ones or the, or the Fallout 4 ones? Because Fallout 4 ones turn them into crabs, but the Fallout... I guess they're kind of crab-like in, uh, in uh, Fallout 3 New Vegas, but like those Lake Look Kings, you know, like, looking like Voldemort or some shit, like, they're pretty cool. Depends what you're into. I hate the fact that they're so like resistant to unarmed. Like if you're playing an unarmed build, like purely just using that weapon type, like the unless you have armor piercing, you're not you're not gonna get much damage done. I did like a playthrough where I used like no weapons and no armor, like I was completely naked, and uh, easily the hardest part was the was the my looks. Oh Jesus! Fucking hell! That's badass. Oh, when yet one day you'll have grandkids and you're gonna tell them that you uh, pulled a Forrest Gump and got shot shot up and carrying people to safety. No botox, but and no ice cream, but hey, you're fucking. Fucking hard car, man. Oh, 
Have I already been up here? I'm getting confused. Because it's dark outside, I'm getting confused where I'm going. Let's go back to the quest log and do the safari adventure. Hope flower. Hey, I'll take that. I like hope flowers. Hey, I have the gator heads as well. They're really interesting looking. Oh, they actually are attacking me though. Okay, I need some food. Got much shops, that'll do it. Part four, they got. Yeah, because I, I don't know. I mean, I didn't. They weren't, they weren't in the original Fallout's were they? My looks, so like they had to like come up with something cool. So they went with some semi-aquatic like animal. Oh, yeah, I'll go I. He better get, you know what? He, Ice, Ice Lord better get a f fucking medal for that. Oh, Jesus. Stop gnawing on my leg. Barely turned up. Oh wait, the bear was running away from the gator. I want a legendary gator claw gauntlet for this mission. The only legendary weapon I'm not using is a is the uh Cause I don't have a legendary death claw gauntlet yet. Uh, uh, Bob Ross. Okay. Oh, wait. Huh, I didn't even see that when I came through here. You're not feed the bears. Yeah, right. Try and kill one of these without breaking its legs, yeah? Well, seems to have, seems to have confused AI there. Yeah. Not bad. I can't do an attack whilst removing. But the funny thing is, is like, if I do, if I'm, 
this when I'm ever moving and doing an attack, it's actually like it does. It costs AP to attack because it's because it, I'm moving so quickly. It it counts as a running attack. Locks really strong. I can't even like go through the window or go through the uh, bars and loot the little Terrible. box. No, what's going on? I don't want to sit. Why is this an option? Attention. All matinee showings of the Phantom of the Nuka at the parlor are Phantom of out. the Nuka. Tickets for evening showings are still available. I think this place would look better if it was like at night. That's just me. Alright, day, not day. It is night. I'm fucking dumb. Yeah, the unarmed unarmed gimmick. I mean, I could do melee weapons as well, but be overpowered. Because uh, there, there's a glitch that happens in this game where, like, sometimes the uh, temporary buffs remain permanent. And uh, I took some Yalgwai roast. Uh, is it roast? Or is it ribs? No, Yalgwai roast. And boosted my melee damage uh, by a ridiculous amount. Which results in like, so you see here like 209 for my Death Claw Gauntlet, Butcher's Hook 168, uh, Power Fist 202. Like, I got the damage is that high because I spec for Iron Fist, got 5.9 Iron Fist. Now look at the look at the Kami Whacker, which is a joke weapon, 221. That's the glitch. Like, my, my melee weapons are ridiculously overpowered because of a glitch. So a joke weapon like the like a rubber bloody mallet is uh is like better than like all my weapons. Look at that! It's a, this is a joke weapon. <laughs> it's a joke weapon. You know, a shush kebab two sixty two sixty two eighty seven and. Bear in mind, I do not have big any points in big leagues at all. Like six hundred and nine. Like, look at that. No points in this. Six hundred and nine damage. Eh. So I could switch to melee, but that'd be too, that'd be too much. I do have a melee weapon saved. It's a uh, in my in my top area here, just in case uh shit hits the fan. <laughs> I need to like get shit done. But it's been very rare that I've needed to use that. Yeah, Me to be fair, melee is probably better in far, far anyway because there's a lot more perks and drugs and stuff that boosts it. Like, you kind of get the uh, shaft on a uh, on unarmed because, like, cause a, a, I said, a lot of like. Perks and yeah, you know, the game kind of rewards. There's a lot of stuff that benefits uh, unarmed, but not a uh, lot, lot more stuff that benefits melee than unarmed. Like unarmed, don't even get the, the the bonus from from ninja, you know, for like doing the sneak attacks. Like it count like uh, what's what's it? Is, is it sneak attacks? What is it? Like ninja here, you know. Range sneak attacks 
do 2.5 and melee does sneak does four times now that only for melee attacks not for unarmed melee with power armor oh yeah because like you, as soon as you equip melee uh power armor on you've got you get you, you get boosted up to 10 strength so you can do like a melee build with like you have power armor. You can do met. You can like just put two points in strength, and that's it. And that's it. You can just like you get ten strength when you put on the armor. Obviously, you don't want two strength because you want armor. Um, and this one down here, rooted, is also a really good one. And pain train. I mean, I'm not a fan of power armor myself in this game because I just don't like the hood or the bounciness to it. I just think it looks awful and it's really annoying. That's why I'm like here with like big guns with no power armor. He's through sand in my eyes. D cheek of him. Uh oh. Heal up. There we go. Yeah, and imagine like Atom's ju judgment as well. If you like put like 10 points in intelligence and get that uh, radiation nuclear physicist uh, perk, you can do quite a lot of work against stuff. A lot of like builds you can do with this game. Like I will say this, even though it's not as good of like it's very inferior as a uh, as a as a RPG. I think the gameplay and the way you can invest your perks uh, is very very good. A lot of replay value to Fallout Four. Ooh, victory. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Nuka Fancy, Caffeine, okay, 100 to 100, that's not too bad. What's, uh, what do we get? Nuka Punch, need grape for that one. Ooh, that's not too bad. Pretty cool, actually. They made it suck on purpose. I don't think... I think they actually liked what they were doing. There's no way, like, they were like, Okay, I'm going to jump on the hedge. I can't be asked. I'm navigating the maze. Okay, I guess we're navigating the maze because I'm fucking dumb. Can't have any balance. Oh, dear. No, I'm sure like when they were writing this stuff out, they were like, oh, it's such good shit. This is amazing. People are going to love this. Okay, I can't crouch jump. This isn't Half-Life. I can hear the, hear the Gator Claw out there. We need to kill it, though, don't we? If we want to clear, clear, the, clear this area. Oh, 
there you are. Why are you running? Why is he running away from me? Yeah, we might be over leveled. Or maybe they just don't have as much much health as Gator Claw. There isn't any variants of the Gator Claws, it's just Gator Claw. You know, so it's not like, you know, Alpha Glowing or whatever the hell. Okay, that's dirty water. Avoid that then. Sort of thing buffalo short what? Party. Ah, oh, not the bees. Oh my god, they have a lot of health. That's ridiculous. They shouldn't. Ha why do ants? Why do ants have that much health? I beg. I beg. I. I don't know. Fourteen unclaimed kids. <laughs> Buffalo long gone. Hey, buddy. Oh, shit. No, you're not my buddy. Oh, God. It just blew up into, into raw carcass. Why was the bull, the bull and the gale claw were in cahoots? What the fuck? What happened to the food chain? Yeah, see what's on that uh, party. Carry weight, eh, nah, good. I'm good. Is there a rad storm coming in? Yeah, this is. This is... I'm too far. I. Maybe very, maybe very hard difficulty is actually harder because of because of how much health stuff has. Because like everything in in new in a uh, in survival, everything's pretty much a glass cannon. You no know, deals dam deals more damage, but take but takes more damage. You know. Oh great! Not quartz, nice. Okay, I'm lost. Completely lost here. I don't know where to go. Give it an entrance here. Welcome center. Okay. Start. Wanna fight? Come, come up these stairs. Oh no, nope, couldn't find them. Perhaps if, if they made it uh, accessible to idiots, there would still a chance. I'm not even built for built for it. Well, I guess I've got three points in commando, so maybe I am kind of built.
terminal should open this. Oh, we didn't have the option to unlock for the terminal, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I guess we've got nothing else in here to do. Gotta find the terminal. The uh, ransom note, facility security levels. Grizzly, full security lockdown has been initiated. Dr. Hine, Dr. Madurma, or Dr. Brad... Or Mr. Brad Burton. Oh, that'll be a funny fucking thing, I'm to do the Cappy quest just so I can get into this bloody terminal room. That'll be a good laugh. How the hell are you supposed to get in and out of here without jumping over the counter? Oh shit, I might have to fucking find out. Oh my god, don't... What the fuck? Can't get out. The fuck? Well, I jumped through without uh, any issues. Why? Do you want me to go backwards? Fucking hell. That's quite far back, if I if I recall correctly. That's so dumb. Like somebody, like survival mode. Give you all these bloody locations that you can get fucked from. That's the way we came in. Oh, not the way we came in, but near the way we came in. Fiery reptile house. Okay, I didn't even go in here. See what's in here. Got to appreciate the irony of me having at questioning where, how how someone can get in and out of a 
of a market stall and then being stuck in there. A suit. See if I can buy some. Oh no, I don't have any dirty water anymore. There's a save reload. More agility for one hour. Just the same as Deathclaw Steak. I've got more health, I guess. You know, the Algoi was. It says plus 10 to melee damage, but it's actually like plus 100 or something like that. It's a lot more than 10. Anyway, because that's a bugged item. Uh, I mean, there's already a bug with it where it gives you more melee damage than it advertises, but then that, that temporary buff uh, became permanent. That's why like all my melee weapons do a lot more damage than like unarmed weapons. Like Kami Whacker, for God's sakes. Ugh. Ah, oh, time out, time out. Oh, I don't have the heart. Even as a joke, I don't have the heart to uh, to time you out, 13. <laughs> oh, how you doing, you handsome boy, you? Look, look at the look, look up there. Look at the top of the top of the stream. Yeah. Last cheer, Kyle Twitchbot. It's madness. Absolute madness. I won't complain though. <laughs> I gotta tell you, like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Can't see it. It's up uh, at the top with the. Uh, where the. Uh, I, I can see the mouse. It's up there on the overlay. <laughs> Ridiculous. So I don't know, but I like the. Uh, I, I, what, what's my what? What does it say? Like three hundred. I've got. I've made three dollars off of a uh, off of some random bot. <laughs> Due to high demand, we've added a so bizarre. Yeah, you know, can't complain. Definitely a head scratcher, but you don't know where to. F oh God, it's a bull! Ah, oh, bees! But I like the, uh, yeah, yeah free dollars, <laughs> get a meal deal or something, like go to a shop, get a drink and a, and a sandwich. What the hell is that? Oh. More bulls, these bulls are aggressive. It's three bits. Like I said, like I said in the in your server yes last night. I guess it was like three o'clock in the morning for me when it, when this conversation went down. But like, I imagine like these uh, subscription bots will be uh, are coming. Like there's somebody developing them, you know, because they've got they've made changes to the re to the 
refund policy to subscriptions. I can imagine people getting fucked over, getting some subs botted in, and then, you know, after the high of, oh, I got a sub, you know, and then it gets refunded and it's goodbye revenue or whatever. That'd be fucked up. I can see it happening, though. Ah! Oh, it's a pr What the fuck? Where did that pram, pram come from? And I was like looking at watching some YouTube videos about the ho that host thing, and apparently, like, so there's like bot followers that if you click on their profile, and then you know click the link on their on their profile, like it can it can fuck you know it has like malicious uh, content and viruses and whatnot. So really fucked up. Also, it's just it's just weird. Like you see your follows go up and down. Like I said the other day, like I got I had fo people following me that had like you just question every follow at this point. And I feel bad now. Like, are you real? Are you not? Because it's just it's, sometimes it's just honest lurkers, like people people that don't talk in chat just come in, they watch for a bit, they follow, and then they disappear without saying a word. And you know you thank them, but then it's like, am I talking to a person or am I talking to a robot? Makes you uh, think, Bingo. or maybe I'm overthinking it. That's the that, that might be the problem too. Right, okay. So we went down there last time, but we didn't get anything out of it. So I'll keep going. There are people. I don't see the point. I don't understand the reasoning behind but certain bots as well, like follow or unfollow bots. In view bots, they're self-explanatory. You just boost up your average viewers. Uh, but the one bots that randomly follow and unfollow people, and the donation bots, that are cheer, I guess cheer bots. Not a donation; it's a cheer. There's a difference. Uses the hell out of me. Guess so. So okay, I'm not gonna jump through this bloody thing this time because there's, I couldn't. I got stuck in there. I'll be careful. You need combat. Who's here? Yeah, this weapon is overpowered. Turns most of these enemies into a joke. I guess if you know this weapon is coming. Okay, can we uh Oh the sun's coming up soon as well. We're all, we're almost here. We've almost been here for a long time now. Yeah, craft. What's the Nuka fancy do? Yeah. Wait, whoa, 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 Nuka Rush? I don't remember getting that. Yeah. It's some interesting thing. I wish you could, like, boost the duration of some of this stuff like you can with chems. They don't last that long, this uh, food and drink. Okay, 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 I think primate how God damn it. Oh no, he's asleep. Oh, it's a legendary. <gasps> it's a death clock on look. I mean, to be fair, it's not <laughs> It's not a good legendary effect, but it's act I can't believe it. We actually got a legendary Deathclaw. <laughs> ah, fucking hell. I've been using... Does critical... Wait, critical shots do double damage. No, that's actually... Actually, never mind. That's actually really good because with Overdrive, every, like, quarter 
one, we get a one in four chance of a critical hit, so we should we should be doing a lot of damage there. Save that. That's... Look at that. Took us what? Two days and thirteen hours worth of gameplay to get get a weapon we actually want. <laughs> Worth the wait. Ugh. The jo joys of RNG, right? Sickness bags are available for our more sensitive customers at the entrance to the Stampede Carousel. Uh, prams need to need to calm out, calm down. Or strollers or what have you. Oh wait, there's a door there. No, it requires a terminal. Come on, I thought I found a secret entrance. Don't tell me you make the super secret entrance locked up as well. Doing me dirty here. Where the hell am I supposed to go? What is that least the quest for this place? Investigate the source of the Gator Claw investi investigation. I get a feeling I need to go into the into that office down in that basement, but just uh, just finding a way in there, getting a password. That's kind of what we need to do first, right? Anything out here? Hmm. Get some, get some Nuka Cola in us. Be caffeinated. Not that being, I don't think being tired is that much of an issue. Oh, need some food as well. Feeling ill. Oh, wow, that's what I get for eating moldy food, I guess. <laughs> Eat some cake. And what are those antibiotics? There they are. So what what the hell are we supposed to be doing here? That's like a theatric theater show or something. Okay. Oh, there we go. New party. That's that's one with the carry weight, though. I don't really uh, care for that. I realised I've got uh, what's that? I Kamesh. Don't have blacksmith too to upgrade that, but I've got decent enough uh, carry weight anyway, so it's not too essential. I mean, I got a uh, plus two carry weight. I got plenty of damage resistance anyway. You ever like think, you know, you think something, but then you say something else and you just feel like a stupid idiot? I don't know, like, if you guys, like, you know, be it streamers or or whoever, like, in the in the chat lurking, like, you ever, like, do a recording, you know, you record your voice, you do a voiceover, whatever. You listen back to it and you hear yourself, hear yourself say something completely wrong and you're just like, I'm dumb. Me dumb. Don't know how English. No. Like, and you don't even pick up on it when you when you say it. You just it just it just comes out so naturally. Like you got like natural stupidity just flowing out of you. Like, ah. Like I have some level of self awareness, but like sometimes I get I just get carried away and then it just. Don't 
think I can pick this. There must be another way into that cell from the back end, right? Hmm. Yeah, we are just looking around and trying to figure out what the fuck we're supposed to be doing. Oh dear. Okay, because that, that pipe there leads to a door, but the door needs a terminal, so... No sneaking around, sadly. This is where the bloodworms are. What the hell's the point of this, anyway? It's like a gravestone. I don't have a shovel. I don't think a shovel would work here, anyway. Anything back here? Safe, but I can't get, get into it. Hmm. Fill up some bottles so I can make some more squirrel stew. I drank some water by mistake there. I need to buy more ammo for this gun though, because I am uh, starting to like it a bit too much to the point where I'm going to run out of ammo for it. <laughs> I could hear some footsteps on the side of me there, though. Anybody out there? Oh, there's, there's bulls. Oh, Bramaluf. 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 Look how angry they look. I'll break the legs. Oh, well, they die before I even break the legs. It's a shame. I think checking the outskirts of this place would uh, would help. Advanced. Oh, come on. Ah, what the hell's that? Expert. God damn it. You don't shoehorn me into grabbing lockpick as a perk. Don't want lockpicking. Ow. Uh, let's have a look. Hmm. See what we have up here. Oh, we can't even jump up there. Unless it's that fuse box. Can we get into that fuse box? No. Huh. We're missing something. What am I looking at here? Was there like two 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 two, two chests in one there? Or was I always able to open the upper part as well as the lower? Oh no, good news to me. Oh wait, the back door's open. Yeah, front door's locked. Try back door. Should've known. Digged again, sadly, though. No, oh, come on, novice, my ass. That's it. Hmm. 
question mark. There's a question mark there. I mean, it's not a secret. Like a coffee machine here. That's a big ass coffee machine. Must be more, more to this place than. Must be more to this place, right? Nothing in the reptile house. Okay. Where the fear the fear to form an arts area, whatever the hell you want to call it, is over there. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing here. There's no enemies left, so I should be able to just claim it, right? Happy's tree house. Thirsty? Head over to Doc Phosphate Saloon in Dry Rock Gulch to purchase an ice cold Nuka Cola Wild. That's been secured. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to secure. Nobody here. No enemies left. This is completely empty. I hope to God that this isn't glitched out, otherwise we'd have issue we'd have a big fucking problem if I can't even finish this DLC. I mean I, could, I guess there is a there is always one way out and that's killing every bloody gang member in Nuka World, but I don't really want to resort to that. Alright, hell with this. Hell with this. Let's have a look. Data, Safari Adventure. Yeah, let me just... Uh... See what we can do. Web browser. See what we have. Oh dear. Safari. Adventure. Fallout 4. Glitch. Oh, wait, I've got the second result is Fallout 4 glitch. Oh no. Okay, a quick walk through. Help uh, help Cito. Who the fuck is Cito? Bug. Upon entering the Safari Park section, the sole survivor will be immediately met by by get a claw. Don't tell me we fucked it up by coming in from the back end. So we've got to find a gator claw in this seat or person. Or Kaito, or Kito, or whatever the fuck. Uh, 
bottling battery, I guess. Fiery zone, where are you? We got to fight like there's supposed to be an encounter with a Gator Claw and an NPC, right? This better be fixable, otherwise we, we we're gonna otherwise uh, this DLC might come to an to a to a steady end. It's not outside. Plenty of gazelles walking around out here. I wouldn't, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind, because I've the whole point of me, um, I've been a chemed up addict over here was to do a raider build, so to do it to end up not fighting the raiders. Anyway, that would be kind of shitty. I guess we fought. We fought our first gators. We fought were up at, up here, so maybe he's over here somewhere. Cave cricket. Well, not what I had in mind. There's a fire up here. Oh, fuck sake! <laughs> Oops, me. Oh, wow. No. Give me bloody that. Oh, the action points are running low as well. Oh god, this is uh Is that a chair? Is that a chair hanging from It is <gasps> Legendary Scare me? I'll stun lock you. Blazing pipe wrench, bloody hell. So we came across our first gator claws in this area, so when you look we can see because it was at middle of the night, so it's kind of possible that we didn't see this NPC, but at the same time we didn't hear him either, so and you think a first encounter would involve a bit of dialogue. All these locks. No way to unlock them. Oh, key interrogation. All right. Site 
Might be the nukes dropping. Oh wait, here he is. The fuck's he doing? Okay, he just appears out of nowhere. Were you always here? Lady, eat or see you kill monster. You friend? Oh god. Let me guess. You were raised by apes. Not no ape. Tito only no family. You kill monster alone. Monster strong, but you stronger. Tito happy you kill monster. Monster hurt Sito and Sito family. I have a bad feeling you're gonna ask me to kill more. You good guesser. Sito kill monster. New monster come. Sito kill monster again. New monster come again. Monsters not stop. Help Sito stop monsters? Of course. I'll help. Sito happy you help. New friend, follow Sito. Sito show you thing. Thing to help kill monsters. Alright. Okay, we got the pat. We should have a password to that bottom, bottom uh, door now, right? That door in the basement? So we should be able to uh, travel further. Well, I'm waiting. Maybe I should just kill this guy and be done with it and just get on with the rest of the mission. We've already I mean this would be interesting if there was people things to kill, but we already killed everything. Oh, here's the, oh, here's the key to the primate house. Okay. Oh, it's apes everywhere. This. This. Sito. This home. This family. <laughs> no worry. They not hurt you. You friend Sito mean you friend family. How did you end up being raised by these gorillas? Sito very small when first family die. First family look like Sito. Sito not die. Just walk and walk. Find zoo place. Find new family. New family help Sito. Give Sito food. Give water. Keep Sito safe. Now Sito big and strong. Sito help family fight monsters. Great. I always wanted to be best friends with a bunch of gorillas. 
Tito Glad, new friend, like family. Now you help Tito, family in danger. Hide here from monsters. Here only play safe. Here have no food. Here have no water. Tito go outside to help family. Monster try to kill Tito. Tito kill many. More monsters come. Never stop. Tito scared monster hurt family. I hope you know somewhere to start. Tito maybe know. Tito have story. Story help stop monster. Tito eat with family. Wrinkly man come inside home. Wrinkly man hurt. Tito try help. Wrinkly man say he make monster. Tito mad at wrinkly man. Monsters hurt family. Wrinkly man sorry monsters hurt family. He gives Tito shiny thing. He say shiny thing help Tito stop monster. Tito try help more, but wrinkly man die. Tito put wrinkly man in ground, but keep shiny thing. Now give shiny thing new friend. Help Tito. Dr. McDermott. So wrinkly man, I'm guessing that's a, that was a ghoul? Or an old, really old man? I guess it'd have to be a ghoul, right? And I guess that grave that we came across was the... Uh, was was what he was referring to. Shit. Dr. Terra McDermott. Last known survivor. Back to Safari Adventure Pit. Replication facility. This is Safari Final. Recording. What the holy hell? Crockers. Am I created? This is the thing I call Gator Claw Heaven. Well, Dr. Hine is uh, done, but I'm going to assume that the that the grave will have uh, that guy that guy's password in it, even though we've got Dr. Hine's password already. Dr. to see so we've already done that. Ah, why pop up with that shit afterwards? Huh, so it seems like the gator claws, or the monsters, are coming from an animal cloning facility somewhere beneath Safari Adventure. Shiny thing, help, new friend. Unless this shiny thing is about to sprout wings and lead me to the cloning facility, we're out of luck. New friend, funny. Shiny thing, not bird. No worry, Tito can help. Tito remember something. Tito see wrinkly man come from big triangle house long time ago. Go to big triangle house. Find cloning facility. Stop monsters. Tito come with new friend. Tito help. Does this, does this fuck up my companion? It's okay. Yeah. I could use the help. Follow me. Tito strong. I don't think my lone wanderer. I don't think my I think my lone wanderer might get disabled there, but I don't get much from having him with me. Whatever. I suppose we can enjoy the gimmick of a companion for a little bit, just for a little bit.
Oh, bloody hell. That's the triangle house, I'm guessing. So we go back down here. We did all our stuff. Tunnel's got to be somewhere. Okay, unlock the gen replicate facility. Sito. You big help, Sito. Sito, thank you. He actually has like the ability to uh he has got like an electrified super sledge. Pretty cool. This is Dr. Terrence Merton. Last known survivor of the Safari Adventure Replication Facility. Go. Curse of living forever, I guess. Well, who wants to live forever? What's the point of all, this, all these fridges? Oh, there's some blood packs. How much point in these fridges is there? Who was that? Where is that? Oh, let's put, pull out the problem solver again. Fun, fun class. A fun, fun weapon, not a class weapon. Cito, no like this place. Okay, that's an albino. Finally found a variant. Oh, crippled. Cito. Cheeky, cheeky. Hmm. 
I'm surprised there isn't a star car attached to this that we can use. Ooh, we're getting a lot of uh, a lot of goodies though. Questionable fucking ethics here. Okay, disable it. Click. Okay, well, we've got two more left to kill. Oh, here they are. Right, time to be extinct. Come on. Avenge your parents, Mr. Uh, Tito. Oh, he got paralyzed with that. Alright, we might be here for a while. Come on, give him a good old spanking. Cito strong. Deal with Cito and his family. What do you mean deal with it? Oh god, what do you mean deal? Oh yeah, I guess we guess. I'm trying to move Raiders in here, and he lives here already. That might be a bit. Sito. New friend done. No more monsters. There will always be other monsters, but you've seen the last of the ones that were here. Sito, not worry. New friend teach Sito be strong. Teach Sito be brave. How Sito thank new friend. Let me just look away. Hit the old auto save. There we are. I have some friends moving in here, but if you play it cool, we can all get along. Can you do that? Sito, no trust anyone but new friend. Sito. What do you mean? What's going on here? Sharing's caring. What's that charisma looking like. Eight should be higher than that. We have some special effect that's lowering the charisma. Hmm. Whatever, I guess. Uh, there you go. Beer will do it. You know, really, like that's the. By the way, that's the that's the medium difficulty, and I'm like failing at eight. I have some friends moving in. Sito trust you. Sito like more new friends. Before go, here, new friend take. It's better shiny thing, Sito say. Sito want to give. Thank you, new friend. Sito always remember you. What's that? Sito shiny slugger action points reveal a critical hit and oh my god, look at the fucking stats on that. That's because again, because of a glitched out food item. That's that's why it's that high, but fuck, ridiculous. The only reason why it's that high. No, I didn't want to drink it. Ew. Guess this opens up and back into the river.
All right, I guess we'll go back to first top mountain. Oh no, we need to like cl stake a claim. Now since this is a zoo and we have the uh, one of the factions, the pack likes uh, like has the old animal gimmick. It makes sense, doesn't it, from a law perspective to give the pack a safari zone or safari adventure, whatever the hell it's called. Safari adventure, yeah. Safari zone is a uh, Pokemon, right? There's only 21 Gator Claws. I thought there'd be more than that. Alright, so I guess uh, we plant the flag and then we go to Fizz Top Mountain and get some sleep. And then we can... I think that should be like the final act of the vid of a video game. Final uh, part. That should initiate the final section of uh, of this DLC, right? I'm, I'm basing that assumption on absolutely nothing, by the way. Yeah, so the pack. There we go. Speak to Gage. Damn it. So close to leveling up. Dry rock. There we go, there's the ding. Level 80. Commando. There's this top mountain over there. But I do want to go to the sh shops and actually buy some ammo. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's legendary. Relentless baton. Oh. This stuff can... Those crickets really fuck you up and they don't even give you that much ammo back. Or that much XP. I don't keep harping on that point, but like, seriously, the rewards aren't worth the risk. You know what? Since I'm here, I might as well get that uh supply pack, right? Oh wow, it's already they've already got the safari zone stuff. You should try climbing on top of those spinning things and getting high. Legendary pack. Oh my god, you just you spawning ran legendary NPCs. I can't kill him though. Not allowed to kill him. So mean. Dangling the carrot here. Bottling camp, camp, isn't it? So I guess, uh, yeah, fuck it. I might as well just make the rounds. Even though they're not. The loot isn't really worth it. Can at least make uh, use of. At least I get some ammo out of it. Alright, how long have we been streaming? Three and a half hours. Uh... Welcome to 
to the Nuka Cola World of Refreshment. Now featuring Nuka a liberal of Nuka Cola Quanto. Yeah, didn't miss this. Almost two years to perfect the didn't miss this place. But in late 2044, Mr. Brad Burton was finally successful, and Nuka Cola was born. Yes. Yeah, it says Nuka Lurk Egg, but it gives you a My Lurk Egg. Didn't notice that first time through here. America's number one favorite soft drink. Real shame. Wait, where the hell is this bloody... It told us to come in here, but there's no... Like, didn't even bother to give us the uh, thing immediately. regional favorites, such as the classy Nuka Cola Quartz, and refreshingly patriotic Nuka Cola Victories. While out here on the East Coast, Folks delight in the refreshment of an ice cold Nuka Cola. Hey, Mom and Dad, are you ready for a night out on the town? But this isn't just a ride. It's one of Here in the bottling chamber, factory. we carefully pour each delicious liquid into our new space age rocket bottle. And now for a special surprise. Casey's past. Is that for the uh that's member of our family, Nuka Cola Quantum? Is that for the Nuka Wow, well, I think it takes us back out there. Unless it is supposed to be out on the roof. But wait, can, did we just get access to our uh, to that power armor? I didn't even notice that corpse first time through. Nuka World's main power is offline. Oh. Guess we'll have to come back here later. Whatever. Whatever. Also, even though we took over this place and sent people to it, like, I don't see any NPCs walking around. Honestly, I sense to not walk around the irradiated, like, flooded area. Which case, you know, fair enough. What's well, down there? Why didn't it tell me to go, go here then, rather than making me go inside? Hard to believe that river's still growing after all these years, and that people are willing to drink it. Huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I guess we'll head into Dry Rock, and then after that, it's uh, wherever else, I guess. Oh, this is Fire Zone by the sounds of it. You can hear the sound effects of it. Yep, there's those angry bulls that were attacking us earlier. Put you in your place, but you earned it. <clears throat> we... Who the fuck said that? <laughs> if you ain't standing out, you ain't worth looking at. The daily jewel of Nuka Night and the Nuka Cola Dark Night has been postponed until further notice. The pack dominates. Mason Card and feathered the last alphas. Ain't been seen since. And it ain't smart to go asking about it. It's hard not to preen when you're the best, ain't it? It's hard to uh, not want to kill any legendary raider that happens to be on my side, but 
you know, that's just me. Last but not least will be this location, Dry Rock. Who did I give this to? The operators? Because of tourism? Oh, they got... No, it's Pack. Pack? I think I gave... So, what was a horse, anyway? Some kind of big dog you could ride on? Come witness the hmm. majesty and the pageantry of King Cola's court. Tickets for all... Did I, like... Available now at the I think... I think I gave the Pack four and the oper operators five, one. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty goofy. Oh no, maybe I gave the operator. I think I might have gave the operators the, uh, Galactic Zone as well. Warner Wright and Doc Foxface are all making their rounds at Dry Rock Gulch. Stop by for a Freeze the disciples get the shaft, but you know what? They don't serve my purposes, so. I think I'm good. As this is like the supposed to be end game content this DLC anyway, so by the time you finish it, like the perks and rewards and weapons you get out of it, it's kinda of done. Unless you like to play Fallout 4 way deep into end game with like max level characters and just doing radiant quests all the time, which uh if you like that, cool. Me, uh no. <laughs> no thanks. What the fuck? Ah, look! A flying car! In the future, all the cars will fly! What the fuck? Just the like that, <laughs> couldn't get any worse. You are a joke. Uh, right, anyone in the chat? Anyone lurking, uh, please clip that. That was ridiculous. How high were they when they built it? On top of the food chain! Where you belong! This place really makes me want a new Coca Cola. I think that's the point, isn't it? All right, uh, go with uh, beer and I don't even know if the if the if the if the inventory is re yeah. re 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 reset, but whatever. Look at you. What? Hey, what can I do for you? Treatment or supplies? Disciples are flappy fuck. <laughs> Well, the disciples just are just stabby stabby, aren't they? I mean, they have like good perks for like stealth melee, right? But since I'm not going for melee, can I just ignore that? I don't even know how many stim packs I actually have. Probably have more than I'll ever need. Hundred and eighty, yeah, there's no chance of me running out of that. Alright, we have ammo, uh the weapon, okay. Hate to sell this slugger, but Hey you know what, I'll keep it. It's a goonie, why not? Oh, I wasn't meant to sell the Kami Whacker. Ah, uh, who cares? Do I even have the ammo for that? For that alien blaster? I, uh... I have ten rounds. Where the fuck am I supposed to find alien blaster rounds? I guess I can convert that to a, uh... Fusion cell, Pupua. 
I bring my kids here sometimes. Let's see what you got. My pleasure. I'm going to just quickly deal, empty my stuff out, make sure I can sell everything. Okay, definitely don't want to sell the lucky Deathclaw Gauntlet. could sell the regular Deathclaw Gauntlet, but... Hey, don't let running things get in the way of partying. Life's too short, boss. You. Hi. Buying or browsing? Let's see what you got. Sure. All right. Uh, get ammo. Definitely need more of that. Plenty sells plenty of that. Oh, fusion. Definitely could do with more uh, flame of fuel missiles. Okay, that's the stuff. Do you sell any plasma grenades? I should start using that instead of my uh. Frag grenades, because the frag grenades kind of suck. Uh, okay, go. I mean, as you can see, like, money is not an issue. How much, I mean, I get... Whatever. Oh, wait, it's because my mouse is hovering over the thing, that's why it's fucking with the menu. No, 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 no! I don't want to sell nuke mine. I don't know when I've, I don't know when I'm going to use a nuke mine. By the way, because it's not there hasn't been a single enemy where I'm like, oh shit! I got to keep my distance and lure it into a mine. That can, that causes a nuclear explosion. We'll keep the steadfast plasma pistol though. I, I was gonna upgrade I didn't say I was gonna upgrade that. That comes with a drum magazine, doesn't it? Quick eject drum mag. You know what? I'm gonna keep that so I can actually like remove it and put it on something else. On the problem solver. And the suppre yeah, you know what the suppressor as well. Hell with it. Sometimes you gotta just remove mods and move them to another item. Yeah, overbought, overbought there, but whatever. Some supplies, boss. All right, let's uh, let's see what we got here. We can. Uh... Okay, so we'll get rid of this. Wait, what the hell? Hardened pierce. Don't tell me that's the last. That's like almost the the rank f five one. Oh, I can like use that done. without even leveling up. Be better though, rapid or armor. You know, we'll go with armor piercing. Standard receiver on. Sniper barrel. I don't really need that. Rifleman, anyway. What? What the small one, anyway? Uh, pistol grip. A dangerous place. Arm yourself with a quality weapon right here. Yeah, the commando five needed for that. Yeah, fuck that. Let's put the standard mag on. Presser. Get rid of that. And then go to the problem solver. And we can just attach those nice shiny mods. Yeah. That's some good shit. Does big guns boost rocket launchers then? Yeah, big uh, rocket launchers are affected by Demolition Expert and the uh, big guns. 
In fact, uh, the uh, demolition expert only ex uh, actually affects explosive damage. So let's say if you uh, got a legendary weapon that does explosive like uh, rounds, like as it as its legendary effect, you can actually boost like the damage of that with with demolition expert. Extra claw. Look at that. I don't even need blacksmith to level this up. I'll rename that to pistols, rifles, grenades, and every other kind of weapon you need. And you know what? Large death claw gauntlet, you've served me well, but it's time to be retired. Rest in peace. Weapons of all kinds, yours for a fair and price. another one I wanted to do. Okay, hope, hope. Okay, so I don't have any alien weaponry here, but uh, you know what? Does big guns put damage on your rocket launchers? I just wait. Does big guns put damage on rocket launchers, or just affect Guns them? I think it might be the direct impact. I think I don't know. A while fusion mag. I mean, like that damage downgrade isn't that much, so why not? Wasteland's a dangerous place. Arm yourself with a quality weapon right here. Go with put that as a number four item. But yeah, it does like because as you, uh, whenever you upgrade, rank up your weapons, it does actually reflect on the damage output here. It's same with like taking drugs, like. Uh, you don't want to be caught without it. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, overcharged capacitors, superior improved ammo capacity, burning damage, better range, improved. I think the flamer is only affected by the rifleman thing, sadly, so. Pistols, rifles, grenades, and every other kind of weapon you need. Guns and ammo here. Ammo here. <laughs> you don't want to be caught without it. Yeah, uh, no, it affects like rocket launchers, grenades, and the legendary effects of uh, of it that that's explosive. Uh, it might even exp it might even affect the artillery strikes from the Minutemen. Weapons of all kinds, yours for a fair price. Not hundred percent sure on that though. Gonna build with minigun. I could get behind that. I need to rebind that as well. Where is it? Uh, Q to favorite and one. There we are. How much damage? Okay, so let's see what Buzz's last stand can do. The guy selling cams is a little off. That's only oh, has thirty bullets. That's kind of shit. Quite a bit of recoil though, sadly. Yeah, I think I think it shows like temporary stuff. So if I like, what's that said? Twenty two twenty five. Oh, I can't. I can't uh, aim whilst using Pit Boy. All right, okay. Let's, let's say for example, um, 
put on this here. You know, I got stat. What's my stat? That okay. So one eighty six. If I uh, put on uh, say, you know, beer that improves my threat strength by two. That should reflect on the thing. Yeah, two. It goes up to two hundred nine. So like, just as a thing, it it does actually improve on the. Uh, so it should, as you see there, like the, even temporary buffs show how much damage you can get out. So every time you rank up like a stat, like you know for damage output, it will immediately sh reflect on the uh, menus here. These collars get damn hot after a while. Yeah, I think the only good thing about the Brotherhood of Steel is easy access to Gatling lasers, and so, and I know you get also get those legendary uh, armor pieces you can get for. Uh, keep talking about Excuse bloodworms. me. If you need I hope supplies, I never find out what those girl. are. Let's see what you Legendary uh, power armor pieces, which you don't really get that many of in the game, so. Pretty cool. I'm gonna go crowd grenade, why not? Yeah, do we get any, uh... Okay. Okay, missiles. You know, I've got fusion cells and plasma guns now. Why not? Despite all ammo that we have at our disposal. And, like, I mean, the money isn't an issue. We're still going to sell shit back to her, though. <laughs> Lucky combat chest, please. Plus two luck. Eh, not bad. No thanks. You could go rocket suit. Grants the ability to breathe underwater and has plus one charisma. Eh, whatever. Keep that because it's unique. Oswald's top hat. Overboss power. Oh, yeah, the power armor. What does that do? Deals energy. Damage to nearby enemies. I guess with the, like mix overboss top power torso and like Tesla shoulder pads from the um, Monotron DLC, I guess you've got something pretty cool to win there. I don't like Gatling laser, I only use the minigun. I mean, to be fair, the, uh, the Gatling laser. With the up, because there's like two upgrades. There's one, but the one with the fire rate I prefer, which I think is like the lowest one. Like sometimes upgrade maxing out, maxing it out isn't necessarily that good. You gotta feel it out sometimes. All right, let's go to the chem station. Make myself some more buff tats. Sims, chems, and other sweet treats. Get them while they last. Our psycho, and I guess a bit more overdrive, a bit more jet fuel. And psycho jet. Feeling down? I got your pick up right here. Oh shit, I'm bringing low on purified water. In fact, I'm out of purified water. That's bad. That's really bad. I never never thought that would happen. Whatever. I guess we've got plenty of liquids to drink here and there. Oh, 
suppose we could just boil a load of water. All right. I don't know, laser weapons. I thought laser weapons were good in New Vegas because of the perks, but in this game, they kind of feel a bit throw a bit throwaway. There's nothing very new, unique about them. It's not like uh, they just feel like feel more gimmicky. Hi there. Hi. Cook something for myself. Four good hours of sleep last night. Yeah, it's just uh, eat everything we can. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to eat the cake, I was supposed to eat the meat. Oh no, why am I making cake? The cake don't do anything for me. I'm dumb. Buy steak. I guess I've got refreshing beverage to fall back on when it comes to uh, making more stuff. Uh, Seems so like every time I fix one thing, another thing breaks. No, yeah, the SMGs are kind of like... I mean, it's just automatic pistols and assault rifles, isn't it? So it's not even like... And it's all been streamlined, isn't it? Into, like, the commando perk? But there isn't really... There isn't really any SMGs, because, like, once you put a stock on it, it turns into... It, it's like a rifle, an assault rifle. So, yeah. Dixie, of course. So you know it's going to be fun. You know... Yeah. In a lot I of love instances, Dixie, but the last poor time I went out with her, I had enough fun to last two life. Okay, so we are going to need to sleep, so we're going to eat our uh, eat some food. Where are they? Girl bits. I'm so hungry. I'm going to go upstairs. Sometimes works in your favor if the chief see it coming. Get them sweat, get nervous. They make mistakes. You really should rethink where you stand. Unless I should, but I don't care to. Uh, da -da -da, that's usually my gun of choice. RPG shooter games. No one can. No, you can only get them with mods. Yeah. I know. I always liked the uh, snipers or the. Pit. I always like the single shot stuff. It's very rare I go fully automatic. But I do, I am enjoying, like, you know, fully automatic, you know, using the flamethrower or the splatter cannon. Because I'm usually, like, into the whole sneak attack sort of deal, you know, like, hit hit hard and hit and before anything anybody notices. Alright, let's, uh, let's sleep for ten hours. Alright, so I've been streaming for about four hours, so I'm going to go to have a quick toilet break, because obviously, a litre of chocolate milk, well bit left so obviously that's gonna need sorting out so if anybody uh, has been setting sat in the chat for god knows how long watching uh, please feel free to you know take a toilet break stretch your legs get some food so on and so forth i will be back in about five eh, five ten minutes probably probably won't take that long but you know i like to check my socials on, on these intermissions <laughs> all right so uh be right back
All right, we're back. We're back. We're live. <laughs> uh, thank you all for your patience. Oh God, no! <laughs> After you disappeared. Well, the people who remain, thank you for your patience. Uh, do appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Do appreciate it. Hmm. You sit in the same spot for four hours. What do you expect? I need to walk around the house, empty myself, get a fresh drink. Check the socials, check Facebook, check Twitter, I like Malarkey, you know? <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's kind of how my, how it goes for me. Anyway, we're back, back in Nuka World. We should probably uh, go down and talk to Gage, right? Boys, he's expecting us, so... No, no, it's uh, six. It's like an eight-bit remix of um, eight-bit, an eight-bit. I guess not remix cover of the song uh, "Down in a Hole" by Alice in Chains. Um, I highly recommend. I highly recommend checking out that song if you haven't heard it. But it's like an 8-bit version of that, and I just took it from YouTube. I stole it! I'm a thief. Well, can I hydrate myself with just Nuka Cola? I guess I can. Not as, not as effective as uh, not as good as uh, as the uh, good stuff though. Not as good as the purified water. Well, I'll be damned. You actually did it. Nuka World is ours. All of it. Why are you acting surprised? Hey, no disrespect, boss. You've just got to understand. We ain't ever been on ground this solid before. Now that we're here, let's keep this party going. I'm thinking it's time we set our sights on the Commonwealth. Aiming pretty high, aren't you, Gage? Why stop there? Why not take over the moon while we're at it? <laughs> nah, the little green men can keep that one. Taking back Nuka World is a big friggin' deal, no question. But it can't be the end of things. Needs to be a beginning. These bunch of savages need a goal, something to focus on. If they ain't got it, they'll wind up turning on each other. In an operation this big, we're gonna need more of, well, everything. Nobody's gonna hand it to us. We need to take it. Commonwealth has a ton of shitty little settlements that could be put to better use. Don't you think? Wow, nuts. I was just starting to get cozy in my little castle. Now you're starting to sound like Colton. You remember? The idiot whose body we recently dumped into the river? He was always content to just barely scrape by. Look where that got him. We don't gotta rush into this headlong. We take it slow. Be smart about it. If we're aiming to grab a piece of the Commonwealth, it's going to take the right contacts and a lot of muscle, right? I say we go have ourselves a chat with Shank. He's a point man for everything entering and leaving Nuka World. He floated this idea before. Been itching to talk to you ever since you took over. So I bet he's got a good idea of where to start. He's in charge of the caravan, so odds are you can find him somewhere near the marketplace. You trust this Shank guy? You ought to know by now. I don't trust anyone. But Shank's on the level. I got no reason to think he'd screw us. Especially if he stands to profit as much as anyone. If you're vouching for this Shank guy, that sounds good enough to me. Yeah, sure. How else do you think he ended up at the top of my Christmas list? Just head over and talk to the guy. He'll back up what I'm saying about the Commonwealth. And while you're doing that, I've already got the gangs working on getting Nuka World's power plant up and running. It's about time we shed some real light around here and let people know we mean serious business. Oh, and if you want my advice, or if you want me to tag along, you've got it. All right. Big pass on that, though. Food? We're just eating.
Home sweet home. Wait, what was that? What was that? Oh, it's some guy farming and then we kill. Oh God, <laughs> that's a that's a that's a quest icon. You know, in a lot of instances, poor life choices were just. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, you all showed up. Ah. Sure could use a drink. Got to be some liquor around here. Oh snap! Right, okay. See. So wait, now we've got that over and done. We come. Do we get? Just don't hurt me. Can we progress the uh the bumper car thing now? Is the is the bumper car arena a thing that we can do? I've been trying to, I've been itching to do this for a while now. Where the hell is the... whatever. But it's like an NPC you're supposed to talk to where you can like do the overboss defense stuff over and over, but... I ain't seen shit, so. Ain't no one sad about Coulter. What kind of fucking helmet is that? What's going on here? Which we got something that's covering his face twice. You can't see through that, surely. Hi there. If you have any questions about Nuka World, I'd be delighted to answer them. And remember, if you collect a full set of park medallions. Heart medallions, maybe later. Well, look who it is. Liking what you've done with the place, boss. The gang certainly seem pleased with their new little kingdoms. I haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Name's Shank. And if you're standing here, well, I suppose Gage figured you might be the one to finally get things back on track. How long it taken to convince you it was time to move on the Commonwealth? It sounded like a good idea. Because it is. Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park. It bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains, carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth. Well, I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well, all you've got to do is say the word. And we can let the fun begin. I wanted to ask about your role in this. I'm listening. Which gang do you work for? Don't work for the gangs. Gage brought me in to work for the Overboss. Plan was I'd advise Coulter in his grand scheme to run roughshod over the Commonwealth. And despite Coulter's change of heart, I'd kept my ear to the ground. Just in case that day ever came. I'm hoping today might finally be it. What is it that you get out of helping me do this? I've been well taken care of up to this point. I ain't greedy. But people with my kind of talents aren't common. All I'm looking for is a continuation of the lifestyle I've become accustomed to. And the same piece of the Commonwealth pie everyone else around here has been itching to take a bite of. So what exactly is it you do? I'll walk you through all the ins and outs of getting us established on the other side of those mountains. Claiming territory, running jobs, keeping folks loyal. 
Gage and Colt are also tasked me with keeping on top of the goings-on back there, so I'll provide you with guidance on the places we can hit and the places we can't. Kind of makes me your one-stop shop for causing havoc in the Commonwealth. That was all I had. So, does that mean you're ready to begin? Okay, let's get started. Music to my ears. So getting us set up in the Commonwealth is going to require three things. Territory, provisions, and loyalty. First oh, things my... first, territory. We're going to need to claim a settlement for oh, my, to work my, uh, an outpost. Backpack and seems to be, to uh, my uh, chair seems to be transparent. You can head in yourself and convince Curious. the locals to leave. Oh well, kind of cool. I can get a crew together and you all can put them in the dirt. How you do it is up to you. So... First big decision. You want to talk them off their land? Or you want to wipe them out? Get a gang together. Those settlers are as good as dead. <laughs> Stick with the classics. Now, once you and the crew have cleaned the place out, those lucky girls and boys will move in and start working the place. Of course, Every outpost you claim for a gang is going to be something the other gangs don't have. And none of them like the thought of their rivals getting a leg up on them. Worth thinking over as you dole out more territory. So, which gang you want to join you on the job? Uh, let's give us... Let's, let's bring out the, the pack. The pack. Sure, sure. I'll get a stake on a string or something. That just leaves the target. Now, for a new outpost, you'll usually want to target a spot with plenty of populated settlements nearby that might be able to feed our people later on. Taffington Boathouse, Croup Manor, Greentop Nursery, The Slog all had a good number of farms within striking distance last I checked, though I'll need to go through my notes again. Make sure they're all still good to target. We're not always going to be able to run every job against every settlement. So... You ready to pick the spot for Nuka World's first new homestead? We're gonna go with, uh, the yeah, outpost target. What were those targets you recommended? Croup Manor. Again, I can't. I think I'll go with, uh, good. I think I'll have to go with the Green Top. You know what? You're talking to Bow House, might be a good idea. Good. We haven't actually so, touched that yet. It's just bugs. So, oh, wait, we can actually pick anything that we have, but. Uh, you know what? Uh, we'll go with Green Top Nursery. See what we got. Let me. Yep, that place will do. So, these sorts of jobs are pretty straightforward. Move in, kill everything in sight. Be a couple of our guys waiting for you when you arrive. Help you clean the place out. Now, you're not going to be able to take a direct route to the place. Fast way to get yourself killed. So you'll have to meet our folks outside town. Now, if you're looking for something to give you an extra edge, might be worth checking in with some of the gang bosses. <laughs> Probably got some trick or two up their sleeves. The crew that's joining you is just going to have standard kits, though. If you want to arm them up differently, might take along some extra gear. Give those settlers hell. Yeah, I guess it's not. Oh, what? No. Oh, God. I pressed the wrong button. Fuck. Not supposed to do that. Whatever. I guess we'll speak to uh, Mason, even if it'll be in slow motion. God damn. <laughs> oh, God. Put my. Fingers like a bit too far forward on the keyboard.
till you see what I got. Found some toys, a couple operators left on their corpses in a back alley. Not sure how they got themselves dead like that. No shame. I took them apart and made a little something different out of the parts. It was just gonna be a toy for my pets. But it's more useful than that. Beasts find these things irresistible. Toss them on the ground and anything nearby and hungry will come a-running, ripping anything in their path to pieces. But, uh, you're gonna wanna be a safe distance away. Because, well, things leak a little. Don't wanna end up becoming a snack yourself. Oh, and here, take this paper. It'll show you how to make more. Don't look so surprised. They ain't all knuckle draggers. All right. What's that? Got a grenade, I guess. So I guess you if throw it and enemies just short for bullshit. Huh. Got a party like it's your last day every day. Weird. Anyway, I'm not really bothered about meeting the other person, so I'll put that. Yeah, it's like a, it's like grunge, like nineties grunge. Like I prefer, I always preferred like Alice in Chains to, to Nirvana. They have another song that's really good called Wood. It's a got a nice little bass line to it. And you should like check out the uh, what do you call it, the uh, live in MTV Unplugged version of that song because it sounds, it's really, really fucking good. All right, let's do, uh, let's do the quest, the quest. I gotta go back to the uh, thing. Where is the... things will get better one day? I wanna know where that thing is. The uh Nuka World Quest. Quest the uh, Nuka World. I have to complete a grand tour, so I should be able, I should be able to get that now, right? <laughs> Even cubs and pups are showing their colors these days. You're lucky Nisha's in charge. If it were up to me, you'd be dead. We'd all considered putting a bullet in Coulter's back at some point. Suppose you just beat us to it. The whole pack is alpha now. Don't think all this meat has domesticated us. Taking along some extra gear might be good if you want to come over to crew. Unless I have to, like, actually leave the place and then come back. Oh, hey, get away. Vected, get away. Actually, I guess it's good that we're going back to the Commonwealth because we can get a load of purified water from our settlement uh, at Sanctuary Hills. So we should be good. Keyword should be. Oh, his body's still there. Uh...
Do we are back in Commonwealth and we can do those other side missions whilst we're here, I guess. I'm not a fan of going back into the Commonwealth to do DLC. I'd rather just do DLC in the in, in the DLC world space. I mean Bar Harbor didn't send us back out here, did it? So Yeah, whatever. Uh I guess we can like Oh shit, we've actually got a... Huh, we actually have one medallion missing. Huh. Guess we'll do that on the, when we get back. Look at this place. Doesn't it look so safe and colourful compared to Nuka World, which was dangerous and whatnot? I thought this where I wish I had fast travel. Ah, well. What can you do? There's a church. Brahman. There is a raider camp over there, but there's no there's not really no need to fight them. I don't think I have settlers settlers over here, if I remember correctly. Maybe I do. Let me have a look. Oh, I got no no people here, and nothing in the workshop. So the place is kind of dead. It's all right, we'll go to uh, we'll go to the we'll go to uh, oh hot flowers they they're regrowing really good. Uh, we'll go to um, sanctuary hills up at the top top corner. Rust devils. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh dear, just the one? Is there any more down there? Oh, there's the one. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh my god, she got turned inside out. Really, really fucked with her. All right, so too too bad. Uh, it's. I mean, there's not much to say. We're back at the Commonwealth, and uh, we're gonna try and avoid Concord still because we haven't even done the the. Uh, we haven't done Concord. We've literally just walked straight past it and left it alone. Uh, it's dog meat at Red Rocket. I can't even remember. It's so long. These hub flowers haven't respawned yet. Sign of dog meat. I can't remember where dog meat is. Maybe he is. Ah, I mean, it's we got we got. Hundreds of hours into this, like it's, you know, it's hard to remember much of anything to be honest. But the important thing is, we're at sanctuary now, and we have hopefully have a lot of water tucked away. We have 19 people. Oh, the happiness has gone completely down. 
19 people, 19 beds, plenty of power and defense. I hope we don't have to fight a thing. Only 25 caps, you stingy boat bitches. And where's the pu yeah, purified water, 43, that'll do it. Take everything. And we can still we still have a purified water, but max is five. That's good. Okay, so green top nursery is up the northern part of the map. We should have no issues getting there. Keyword should have no issues. Issues. We don't know what could happen. What could happen? What do you have? Oh dear. Oh, pretty hell. Even burping on my breath, I think I get uh, detected on the mic. I was listening to my audio on the um, last Mass Effect 3 stream I did, and even though it sounded, uh, very good. I felt like my voice was too overpowering, I guess. It was like too loud and bassy. Like, I don't know, it just felt... I was like, holy shit, this is too loud, I gotta turn it off, turn it down. But I guess that's a good thing, right? If it's, uh... Audio is put loud and clear, and the only issue, if it's too loud, people can turn down the volume, I guess. The problem with like going back to the Commonwealth now though is like there's there's nothing here. Like nothing nothing's a threat. Or maybe these are. Maybe these are with their cheeky little uh fully automatic weapons. Hey, thanks for the work. I do appreciate it. Planning on streaming any Dead by Daylight tonight? Actually, I shouldn't. Why am I asking asking questions if you're lurking? <laughs> oh dear. But if you know if I'm still awake, I'll. If I'm still up at, when you if you start streaming, I'll be sure to check you out. I'm eventually going to start streaming. I'm going to have to get used to that. What, the, uh, parking? That's a good hobby to have. What games do you plan on streaming? Want to become famous? Oh my god, the double fame bots! My lord, where are the mods? Oh, actually, I only have one mod. <laughs> That's what you're going to be prepared for. RPG games. Which one? Guessing like Fallout, Skyrim, maybe. Uh, what the hell? Making that noise. Hmm. Oh, this is supposed to be all the ghouls, isn't it? What's with the ominous music? There's nothing dead. It. Everything's dead. Whatever. This game's weird sometimes. Oblivion. I I never could get into Oblivion. I should probably start try and start that again. Like, there's nothing wrong with Oblivion. It's just uh, not something I got into.
can't remember how far I got into it. The last character I tried playing as was like an unarmed monk character. I wanted to be like fucking like Hayachi or some shit. I'd like the uh, the hat and clog pants, even though like you're better off like I don't know. Oh, what's up? oh no, you don't. Where are you? There you are. That over there, is that school? No, it's a Slocum Jaws. No, there's a school nearby that has a hacking. Oh, I think that's the science bobblehead or something. I can't remember. Something, something that's not very impressive. I mean, I like Skyrim. Like, I thought Skyrim was a nice, was a fun game to just sit and relax to. But maybe because it was all, maybe it, with it being oversimplified and very repetitive, that's probably why it gets a lot of shtick. Like, I'll admit, like, as much fun as I had with Skyrim, uh, the fact that every faction had the same story, like, the main quest and, the, and all the factions were all just generic chosen one storylines. So, like,. You know, it's only so many times you can get that, right? About before it becomes a bit too too much. I mean having it as your main quest and then having it as every faction. But I thought the gameplay was pretty fun. No, maybe I'll play maybe I'll play Oblivion on stream one day, but let's uh let's get all these other games out of the way first. Uh, modern school has it has all the uh has all the uh has a bobblehead in it. Ghouls over here, isn't that aren't they? I wonder if they're still alive. It's been a long time since I've been here. Go. One of these was legendary, weren't they? First one I saw a legendary ghoul among this pile. Yep, there we are. All oh, stim metal chest. Not really something I can get behind, but I'm sure someone could, might find it useful. Uh, it's, it's, what's it? All oh, stim. Twenty-five percent. Oh, less. I mean, that's for every sixty seconds. So uh, no thanks. Yeah, it sounds like because there's a lot, that's like where where the radiant quests all began. Like, um, you know, Fallout Four is just littered with radiant quests, but like Skyrim is like there's a lot of like radiant quests for each faction. You know, do bounties and stuff. Like, there's some good quests in there, but like, I I'll admit that like, there is it, it, there is a lot of just dungeon. You know, go to dungeon, get this, leave sort of quests. Oh, you know, kill, kill this person, leave, start, you know. It's understandable, I understand where you're coming from, but I... Uh, I kind of put in the same, it's made the same argument for this, for Skyrim as I do for Fallout 4. Like, even though it's a pretty, eh, underwhelming role-playing game, uh, it is the, the gameplay and, and the world, open world, kind of make up for it. Kind of make up for it. Only two? I asked for help, not two, two little minions. And we can't even talk to them. What's going on here? 
Oh, three. Okay, I can't even talk to him. So that, there's that. Fuck it. Just conquer this village. I mean, hey and her. Got company. Hired guns. Yeah. How the fuck do these two villagers hire hired guns? Oh, these are these. I think these are supposed to be minute men, but we obviously don't ha haven't even progressed. Yeah, they are minute men. So we haven't even progressed the story enough to actually make these turn into minute men. That's pretty funny. Pretty dumb. And yeet. Too easy. Build a gang's flag at yeah. Raider flags, rifles, pack, pack, captured it so the pack can keep it. The uh, flag on top of here. Fairly good. Can't supply line them though, sadly. Hey. Yeah? Place ain't too bad. We gotta get supplies coming in. Head back and tell them we're good to go here. I wanna trade a few things. Okay. Oh, wait. I just, uh, I just wanna trade a few things. Alright, I guess. Yeah, give me the ammo. There we go. Boo. Can we assign these guys to farming? We should buy it. We should at least build a bed for them. And I guess defense would help. Uh, power, 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 power. Where's the power? There we are. That's a bit much. <laughs> That's a bit much.
There we go. Can we sign these guys to food? I mean, they're not. I mean, raiders should be cook going for their own food, but whatever. All right, so I guess that with that we can go back. We have to go back to the Nuka world. Yeah, talk to Shank. Right, fuck that. Let's uh, do these three missions first, then we'll go back. I think these are radiant quests as well, so we'll do one of each, and then call it. And they're all south from here, which is not too bad. We can just go in one direction. Huh? Uh, uh oh, don't worry about it. Talking to people is more important than watching a stream. There you. How was that? I mean, some people just, yeah, you know, a lot, a lot of my viewers, you know, they don't talk that much at all anyway. Like, they just sit and look. Perfectly fine with me. What the hell? Okay, these dogs are annoying the hell out of me. Fuck you, Fido. Vampiric blood bug. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of my viewers don't actually talk in chat, so I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't feel pressured to to, to talk in chat. I mean, I don't talk much in other people's chat either. To be honest, I like to lurk, I like to watch, throw out a few jokes here and there. Oh, it's a scorpion. Ooh, who's where's the victim? Oh yeah, you I guess that helps, yeah, if we play the same games. I do want to finish this DLC though at some point because I don't know if I I don't know if I'll actually do Fallout 4's main quest at all on this character. I mean, let's look at here, like you know, out of time, haven't even invest, haven't investigated Con Concord. Oh, it killed the insects. I didn't even know that was a quest marker, quest step. You know, you know, Nick Valentine is still frozen or still underground. Like you know, just just shit like that. I just haven't done done yet because I can't be bothered and I'd want to do this the DLCs first and foremost so what's going on out here are we chasing ghosts if oh it's asked you to volunteer for one of her tests don't oh, there's operators out here huh Interesting. I think I'd bump into them. I guess they're spreading across the spreading across the world already, huh? Yeah? Alright, let's see if is the is that dock around here? Usually sometimes it's that dock merchant is uh is in the area. That one. County Crossing. Ugh. I guess we do the, the the ship quest. Get the uh, broadsider. That's a that's a big gun. Kill all the gangs and free the slaves. What after I've finished the Nuka World DLC? 
I mean, I could give it a go just for the just for the Never did get why Cole gimmick of it. Three gangs to claim Nuka World. I mean, he had us. Don't need the rest. Was a bet gonna see who could down a muty from the longest distance. William made a whole mess of caps that week. Huh? Sorry, boss. Got a job for you. Nope, not bothering with you. Not doing the not doing the USS Constitution quest. I guess uh I guess yeah, you know what, maybe maybe we give it a go. Like slot as soon as the quest we get our quest reward perks and whatnot, I just go on a fucking killing frenzy. Maybe. That sounds like an idea. Sounds like a fun deal. Oh my god. Alright, we need to go that back around that way for Unidentified Guess we'll go swimming. Beginning search. Guess we'll go swimming for the fun of it. Oh we all oh, we got a little north church. Let's join the railroad, get the ballistic fibre, woo! Come super tanky. Oh, ow. Alright, get sick. What are usually, swimming usually results in getting ill. Yeah, yeah, you, you can, you can uh, pick it up from the uh, first aid get lady, but it will just initiate, initiate if you just start and initiate, initiate if you just uh, go Rambo and just start slaughtering everybody that moves. I think it's called hunting season or something like that, or open season. Oh, the trigger man. Yeah, I could say these uh this fully all mic plasma rifle is pretty funny. Look at him with big ears and his little and his mustache. <laughs> Return to Max. Controls. Which is self destruct. Oh, we blew them all up. We blew them all up. <laughs> I, wonder if, I wonder if there's any robots with, with, with legendary. They were, they were just like random explosions. They didn't even like. Where are they? Over here? Bob's your uncle. Fanny, Fanny's your aunt. And all that malarkey. Iron Maiden. Not dreams. Piece of junk. Hmm. 
Yeah, I remember like the first time I played Nuka World, it was on my PlayStation. I was doing survival and I had the uh I was doing the minute man I did I, I beat the game as a minute man. I was doing the minute man stuff. And like I went to the DLC and I was like the way it was forcing me to go against the minute man, I was like, uh no, 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 no. So I ended up like just saying fuck this. Tried killing them all, uh, obviously kept dying because it was like an overwhelming amount of firepower being thrown out against me. So I ended up just like calling it quits with Nuka World and I never actually got around to playing it like properly at, at you know with siding with the Raiders which is why we're here now with hardly any of the main quests touched. Uh, my damage is front. I mean, I think the difficulty is front loaded. I mean, I'm playing survival mode right now, and it's hardly an issue. Although I am playing, I have got a mod where I can save whenever I want. But that's more because I don't want the game to crash. But I find the game hasn't crashed at all. Uh, not as much as it has. Like I had it initially originally installed on an, on an SSD drive. And the game was like really unstable and just kept crashing. But now that I've got it on a uh, on a normal hard drive, in fact, I've got it on an external hard drive. And even though the loading screens are a lot longer, the uh, game runs a lot more stable. And you get poppins like that. <laughs> but you know, pick and choose, right? But uh, I like the idea of survival mode, like, you know, especially, especially when you first start playing it, the whole idea of, like, you can't fast travel, you can only save while sleeping, uh, you have to eat, drink, uh, worry about disease, uh, the enemies, even though you take, even though you, like, enemies deal a lot of damage, but so do you, so it's, like, very, like, especially if you're playing as a stealth character, like, you can, like, it's all about who, who lands the first hit wins, so, like, you have to, like, really think about your fights. Think about your fights, you know, sometimes you just gotta, you know, you, like, it, on a normal difficulty, uh, any difficulty mode, like, usually the typical thing to do is just quick save, try and, fi and fight and kill everything you see. Whereas in survival mode, you, just, you see like a death claw or a red scorpion in the distance, you think, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sneak past that and hopefully it won't see me. I don't mind that, to be honest. I don't mind that, to be honest. I like the aspect of it. I mean, I will say it's kind of annoying having to drink after every time. Every ta oh, it's disciples. It is kind of annoying having to drink after every single stim pack. Is someone using a minigun up there? There it is. Oh hey buddy. Overlords. How many overlords do we need in one in one group? My leg? This ain't SpongeBob. What happened to that super mutant? Where's it? There's his corpse. I mean, to be fair, New Vegas, it wasn't that much of an issue. Like, it, you can beat the game without starving to death or dying at first. In fact, you can't really die at first, it's just debuffs. But you can do fine in New Vegas. That's more of a inconvenience. I kind of like the idea of like t of I, you know I'll I'll say this. What if it was like they removed the uh they made it the 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 the, the uh, resource mat or the uh 
the consumable management, you know, like the first, the hunger and sleep and all that market. They made it like New Vegas, but they took away the, uh, but they made it where you you had to sleep to save and took away fast travel. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Skyrim has a has a survival mode and it's in the creation club, uh, and it's fucking terrible. So don't try. It. So don't even bother. Like the debuffs for minor for minor. Uh, tiredness, but minor fatigue is just way too high. Oh shit, that's all the way down there. Oof. Never. The thing I like about about far far like survival mode is the fact that since there is no fast travel, you really do learn the learn the land, and you do and you do come across a lot more random encounters where if you just fast travel everywhere, it can kind of uh, take away from the journey of of like of the game. You gotta like think about what you're doing, and obviously like the supply. You know, you do, get invested in settlement building where you got the supply lines hooked up and everything can really start making the game feel lived in by setting up uh, communities and supply line in them together at least that's what I've uh, come to do hey Cleo I hope you're buying. Even a girl. No. Let's see what you got. Purchase of a rock. All right, let's see. Uh, buy some ammo. Don't need any of that. Uh, let's have a look. Flame of fuel and missiles. And I guess some plasma cells because I put put a good good of it. Means a lot to me that you made the library a safer place. Thanks again. Now you're here to trade. Yeah, it depends on how long ago you tried it. Because when sure. survival mode first came out, it was very like, very fickle. Where it was like you would first be after like five minutes of gameplay, and then ill sickness was like really common. But now it's like. You can, you can play it for quite a bit before you get thirsty again. Radaway is like, I mean, it's chemo. Radaway is just chemotherapy, so it's like, you obviously like it lowers your immune system. You can be sick more often. It makes you tired, makes you hungry, it makes you just feel shitty. So like playing, like use. I rarely use my Radaway now in 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 Fallout Four because it just makes you because it compromises your immune system. Oh dear, okay, I don't know how the foot is going to go down. I think 
I'm going to enslave some guy that's in here. The resist, what the rad resistant? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I you just cook your food. Don't even bother with the uh, radiation resistant. Like, I think rad resistance is okay, but you can like buy enough supplies to just. Also, here's the thing: like, refreshing beverage doesn't make doesn't give you sick sickness, but you need chemist one to make that. And also, if you get your rads removed from a doctor um that in a settlement or a town you can basically your pay caps get it removed for free and not there's no issue so there's so i would recommend doing that so if you're building settlements you know always put a doctor there so like let's say like uh where is it uh, there's a settlement you can you can go to uh, like you set up a settlement over uh, uh where is it there's a house so it's somewhere around here at the edge of the glowing sea. Like there's like a little house you can go, you can have here somewhere. Scrap palace, robotic tiny art, Ben. Yeah, there's like a house somewhere down south here that you can set up as a settlement, and it's at the edge of the glowing sea. So if you do go through the glowing sea, you've all ran it up. You know, have a doctor here. Obviously, it requires a lot of forethought, like having like, you know, enough supplies on you to create a radio beacon to to, to get a new new settler. Because I, I don't know, this is a lot of planning. Oh, uh, I I thought I forgot we were actually in a place that belongs to somebody. <laughs> And I think there's actually a magazine, there might, might be a magazine, a uh, Wasteland Survival Guide magazine that can give you uh, reduced rads on eating stuff. As well. And uh, yeah, so, you know, you can put like mods on your armor, like you can put lead lined armor pieces and I'm wearing the vault suit under all this stuff. So I've got like, you know, my nap, my, my, well, my armor, on me at the moment, I've got like 57 rad resistance, which isn't too bad. But, you know, I've got vegetable soup, rad scorpion, no, vegetable soup, glowing rad, glowing blood packs, and, uh, glowing blood packs, and something else. What the hell? Uh, what's the other one? Rad X. Yeah, that's the main one, isn't it? And I forget about it. Oh, cool! He's hidden away. Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, Macready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. Yeah. Dead. It's been almost three months. <clears throat> There's something you, you want. Tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I have this necklace that would look wonderful on you. you forgot, I left Here. You okay, I guess. Wait a minute. Help! You're property of Mason in Nuka Town now. Oh my God! Get going. I don't take orders. Bring in the pay. Uh oh. Find him. Oh god, everybody's shooting me. Ah, you know what? I'm a raider. I asked for this. <laughs> is, that, is that just the third rail or is that everyone in good neighbor? I hope they, uh, I hope the, uh, you know what, fuck it, who cares? This is like, I'm not going to play this character again after this, am I? That's going to, if I decide to do the main quest, how the fuck am I going to get here for the, uh, for the Nick Valentine memory shenanigans? When's the, when's the, when, how do we do the memory then? And there must be like a cool off period for, for the, uh, <laughs> Cross that bridge when we get to it, if we even take the take the bridge. All right, I guess the last quest is uh, collar super mutant. Collar the super mutant. 
How the fuck do you uh, enslave a super mutant? Why the hell would they want a super mutant slave? Were you? Who's out there? Ooh, you got greenified. All right. Use the plasma rifle a bit. Well, uh, let's let's have a bit of fun with the uh, the hub. Apologies, the plasma pistol. You guys got me stirred up over here. We got a bit of pistol damage. How's that? Oh, that's you. Oh. They didn't even give me XP. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got like one point in, in Gunslinger. Can like be a bit gimmicky here. To infinity and beyond, I guess. Oh, this is like even a like a low upgrade. This has got a good good amount of damage on it. I mean, I guess it's got 120, 115 per shot. I think. Oh, Charisma, you'd be surprised how useful Charisma is. Uh, I mean, you need free minimum for Lone Wanderer. Also, yeah, I guess, like, if, you, if you're talking about, like, in actually investing skill points, yeah, like, yeah, because just make... All you need is great med tats and a, and a set of armor, a set of Charisma boosting clubs, and you, you should be good to pass any speech check. Uh-oh. Around my neck. Here, here, beeping. Get out of here. How dare you. Stupid blue lady. Now since we'll have a look, it's a good time to ch ch look at the perks. Uh, so I can say for charisma, uh, yeah, like Lone Wanderer is pretty much essential. It's better. It's actually, I, oh, I mean, yeah, you can get like nice perks from, from, Maxing the affinity of like of your of your followers, but just overall, this is a good good thing to have. I mean, you get what hundred more carry weight, you know, thirty percent damage reduction, twenty five percent outgoing damage, and twenty five percent more action points. Which the rank four you can skip, but definitely those first three ranks are worth getting. Um, but yeah, you need to, like high charisma to some, just to do speech checks. Uh, perks, uh, I said local leader at rank six. I mean, if you're playing survival mode, I'd highly recommend going as far as six just so you can get supply lines for your settlements and, and to be able to make work uh, workstations and shops. Um, I mean, it's just a way to make money, unload a lot of stuff, you know, upgrade from different upgrade from different parts of the things so you don't have to like you know obviously like if you can't fast travel you, and you know you people carrying a lot of scrap on you at all time so having the supply lines do does really help you out a lot uh i got two points of party girl but i'm not too close never really saw the point of uh the i mean these are like nice gimmick these two are nice gimmicks. I guess if you like to do like companions, there's this, 
but I'm not I'm not really feeling that. Again, dog meat kind of sucks, so pass. Black Widow, not as good as it was in in previous games. But uh because it don't it doesn't have any unique dialogue, it just has the uh the extra damage and I guess the intimidate and that intimidation one is only worth it if you go full on with the uh thing. And cap collector, I mean I'm not having any issues with caps here, so I guess cap collector is alright if you want to get the max ranking because uh, you can get like the you can get like these uh better shops, I guess. You can only get basic shops uh from when you're building the settlements. Yeah. It varies, I guess. Not too bad, not too great. You're mine now, rookie. Don't you die on me. Oh, that reminds me, I didn't actually spend that skill point, so let's max out our commando. So now we can max out our problem solver, which is should be doing uh, 120 per bullet. Oh, 138 now. Weird how it goes up when I equip it. Hmm. So, whatever. Yeah, but I'd rather take if I mean black. I mean, what was it? it doesn't. Get the same result from Bloody Mess. At least Black Widow is two charisma, and then Bloody Mess is like three luck, so. Maybe I should put points into Bloody Mess. Maybe I should get the Block Bobble Head whilst I'm out here. Out here in the Commonwealth. Oh, we're in Jamaica Plains, aren't we? Ah, you get a bit of both. There you go. I guess with stuff like that, you can at least uh, buff the damage of a. Uh... Surprise, there's no legendaries out here. Legendary ghouls. Not really seeing that many of them, to be honest. Oh wow, this, this gun is overpowered. Gun's a fucking joke. Yeah, I might get the... Look, oh, hang on a minute, let's see. Where are we? Data. Map. Yeah, get, get the quest over there and then we make our way up to the... Uh, to look bobblehead. Actually, we can get the, should get the agility bobblehead whilst we're here because we have actually got ten agility as a special stat. But if we get the bobblehead, we'll be at eleven. That and that would be pretty pretty good. Who's there? Who's there? Who said that? Oh, pack! Oh, it's the pack! The pack! This is ridiculous. We usually have gunners in this this place. I'm surprised it's just scavengers. Yeah, good for crafting. The zoo's bigger than ever, so 
I've, I mean, I've been doing. If you can take something. Life's too short for yours. bullshit. You gotta party like it's your last day. Every day. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like the, uh, I like going low intelligence idiot savant sort of setup. Because, honestly, you don't really need the crafting perks. As long as you, if you get, you can, like, buy, if you, like, keep your eyes open in the shops. And on loot, you can find the mods for the weapons that you need. You just. You just downgrade the weapons and then t t move the mods over to the weapon that you want. You get like a good, like a combat rifle with a nice legendary effect. You just buy a load of like your other. Oh, these guys just gotta, just gotta pay attention. Like downgrade weapons and move because like whenever you like they modify a weapon, like the the pre the mod that was all, that was there beforehand, like just becomes a mod so you can like attach it. What's that? Very bizarre. Never more than four. I mean, yeah, like, what I got here. I'm at eight intelligence, and I think that's because of the bobblehead. And I think I started at seven for the purpose of getting chemist, and that was it. Because I wanted to do, because I wanted to use chems on this character. So having like two hundred percent. Chem duration was definitely a thing. You notice there's a bug here where even though like the first two ranks require intelligence seven, but the third and fourth require intelligence five. Uh, robot X expert, I don't really need. I like nuclear physicist. You know, making your uh, power armor last longer. I don't know if that fusion core duration works on Gatling lasers. And it's also radiation damage, which is nice for like gamma guns and the uh, atoms just. I've always wanted to try this, like do a, like, a, a weird nerd rage build. Where you put on like the, uh, what do you call it, the bolstering armor set and get, make yourself like a low health, high damage character. Big Mac? Oh wait. We're not even enslaving the leader, we're just enslaving some random fucking guy. That's pretty dumb. He got up and healed. Who had their time? Your property of Nisha in Nuka Town now. Get going. Slave a bloody. Can't enslave them. Oh wait, I need to, I need the card key to do the quest. I was thinking of doing this quest here whilst I was down here and then going to the slog. I turn it in. Oh well. Oh wait, no wait, there it is. ID card. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I know. I I think some people find. I know people that find that offensive as well. Yeah, the, the whole idea of it. Toy park. The exit. More importantly, what's the guy that's yelling at me? Oh, he's on the roof, isn't he? Oh. 
not be uh. Uh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, you do level up really fast with Idiot Savant. Like, it's not that that much faster. But once you get, like, the third rank of Idiot Savant, where it, like... What does it do? It, like... Because, like... You get, like, triple XP randomly, then five times XP randomly. Based on how low your luck is, and then... After receiving that, the uh, idiot savant, you have like, what's that? Make sure you get triple XP for all kills. You get like, you know, triple XP for all kills. So like, there was a time, there was one time where I leveled up ten. Like, no joke, I leveled up. I should take care of you. That. Just make sure to keep an eye on her, and come see me if it doesn't get any better in a few days. Thanks, Doc. You're a lifesaver. Goodbye. Doc Anderson is the only Doc I trust. The rest of them are all quacks, as far as I can see. Uh huh. Um, like for example, I went to the Dunwich. Uh, was it Borrows? No, that's that's Fallout Three. What's the Dunwich? The 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 the, the mine with the uh, the sneak bobblehead. Where is it? It's up here somewhere. Yeah, Dunwich Borrows. That's what it's called. But anyway, um, I got rank three of of a. Uh, of Idiot Savant before entering that place once. Kill, got Idiot Savant on the first kill and it just kept stacking up, stacking up and by the time I finished that entire dungeon and left, I leveled up ten times. So I can understand like you, you, the whole, oh, you level up too fast. I, could, I perfectly understand that. Oh wait, you can't go to the edge of the world already? Guess so. I can perfectly understand the, uh, the concern of uh, leveling up too fast, which is why if I do an idiot savant build, I usually don't don't put any points into that third rank because it like it is it is a bit it is a bit much it's a bit too much. By the time you're in Diamond City, eh, I mean sometimes that's the side effect of just exploring the game and exploring the world. It depends how much focus you have. Like you want to just be like. Double down and go. Okay, I'm doing the main quest. No, no deviations from the, off the beaten path. You know, we're gonna go in. We're gonna concentrate. We're gonna focus. You know, whereas sometimes you just uh, run around. You know, sometimes you go around. You see a, see a location. Go. Oh, what's that? Or oh, there's some enemies over there. What, what, what's, what's all this? You know. Like here, I'm deviating off the beaten path because I want the uh, agility bobblehead. Because at the moment we are at a. Well, it's minus nine, but that's because of a status effect, I think. Over encumbered. But! We are gonna go to this uh, here. Go in here and water everything. Get your agility bobblehead so we can have more AP action points. We don't need more action points. It's completely fucking pointless. It's a waste of time doing this. But, uh, uh why not? Awkwardly. Oh, yeah, I think, and if I remember correctly, these, uh, these aren't even raiders, like, they're just, they're the former occupants of this ship, and they're all, da I think they're Danish or something like that. They're all ghouls. See all their uh, subtitles are like Danish and whatnot. I 
I'm not gonna lie, this splatter can uh, not splatter, well, this is a splatter cannon, it's just got a different name, but, uh, Problem Solver is a bit fucking cheesy. Rags, I think he's, he was the leader, right? Yeah, this uh, this weapon is overpowered. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Hey! That's what we're here for, the guilty yes. bobblehead. We need more action points. And now we're going to go to the island over there. Specifically that boat. And we're going to go get the luck bobblehead. Probably a bad decision. We've got one right away on us. <laughs> But I want to put, uh, I want to start putting, I just want to put points into bloody mess, just for the hell of it. Be a nice, fun little thing to do, right? Alright, uh, was it glowing blood pack? Uh, What else? Uh, Red X and a refreshing beverage. Oh, wait. Yeah, refreshing beverage will do. Very good. A bit, bit gimmicky. I'm surprised we're not actually make, getting any water, grad damage from the water here. What is our radiation resistance? That's 386. Not too bad with all, with all our buffs. There is, a, there is a perk, Aqua Boy, which is really handy, where you can actually like just make the water... Like radiation damage from swimming... And breathe on the water, and then oh, I mean the first rank of that by itself is really good, because uh, I know like people avoid water like 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 the plague in 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 Fallout 4 because you know you touch it radiation so pretty handy. We have the bug. Was that a bug that I that I wasn't taking radiation? It was a bug that I wasn't taking radiation, but still one 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 tick. Nothing to wave your finger at. Yes. We got a bit of luck. A bit over leveled, 
This this gun, this gun, this gun. I can't. This gun. Nothing short of busted, to be honest. Spectacle Island. Hey, hey, hey! Legend of the bitch that ran away. 25% more gauss rifle damage! What the fuck? God damn, that's a powerful gauss rifle. Better than the one I've got, which just slows down time during aiming, which, I, to be fair, is a good good perk, but uh, just, just annoying. Alright, I guess uh, with that, we actually have the ability to create a settlement, right? Or do we have to kill everything first? Whatever, I don't really want to build a settlement here. It's kind of pointless. In fact, it is very pointless. There's no point having a settlement here. Just two out of the way and... I mean that's that's the end of the set, end of it. Like it's too it's too out of the way. Batman here, like it just just crashed through the fucking ceiling and didn't detonate. I guess. Right, time to head out, I guess. All right, so what we got here? We got uh, we got the three side missions and Shang. Okay, there we go. So I guess we can go back to Nuka World. Has range from there? Like how much range? Like I guess it could hit the coastline. Maybe. The farm here. I guess if you need so stuff to start out with, you can like grab this stuff, plant it over at the, at the island. You have no food over there. Like, uh, let's have a look there. Uh, the map. Because isn't, isn't wait isn't the castle there? The castle's there. And then you've got. Uh, I'm sorry, cat's garage. There's another. I think there's a there's a settlement right there, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Guess it. I don't know if you wanted it to be one of the one of the settlements that bombs. Uh. Pridwin at the end, you go down that path. That is, I mean, just because you go minute men ended doesn't mean you have to bomb. Doesn't mean you have to bomb the Pridwin. Oh, that's was that's like that weird submarine quest, I guess. I 
can get you can actually get nukes. You only get three of them, but you get tactical. Wait a minute, we've already we've already done the art versus art thing. Need to get out of here. Yeah, one one good thing about <laughs> about <laughs> one good thing is it's a silly thing because obviously you come across random encounters more often on survival because you're always walking around. Um, yeah, art versus art. You'd be surprised how many times you see that encounter. <gasps> okay, it's only a weak one. I guess we go back to uh, we go back to the uh, Commonwealth. What the hell? Thank bot. Go back to a uh, nuclear world then. We, ki we killed we killed that guy up there with the uh, unique dogs, right? We did. Sometimes he has like a gar he has like a glowing like a pet glowing dog. What the fuck's going on over there? You know, I'm getting too distracted here. We just had a random encounter down here earlier. Oh, it's an operator. <gasps> Make this quick. Who are these? Legend oh no, I don't want to kill him. I know. Oh nothing. It was a right arm. Poisoner. You know what? I'm going to reload that. I'll spare him. <laughs> that was terrible. Making my allies legendary. I just want the loot. Would I just put an empty fucking hand in my chest? Slap it? Oh no. They're operators, not disciples. Yeah, this place is still clear of all the nasties. I guess we'll walk across the wasteland and get our uh, get back to Nuka World. I'm gonna assume that the the the, the plan is they'll tell us, "Hey, we're gonna be like it's gonna make us like do the uh, you know set up settlements, raider settlements, like a couple of times before they actually progress the uh, game." But we're six hours in, so I'm thinking of like. Taking about an hour's break from streaming and then playing some Mass Effect 3 for a bit. See how, see how it goes. Hey Alonso, how you doing? Police ration inside. What the hell? Like, oh, here footsteps. Oh no, gunshots! I hear gunshots. Oh, 
Ah, bear! Yeah, bear dead. Does. Oh, fuck the disciples. I always find blood for blood. Was it me? Oh, yeah, it, they totally know it was me. Deals 10 damage on a block. Hell with that shit. Okay, fuck it. No, no witnesses. Fuck the disciples. His stream got crushed. The fuck? I mean, crushed. Crashed? Crushed? The fuck? Oh, tea. You mean like a cup of tea or eating tea? I guess a uh, regional dialect. Uh, last meal of the day in, in, in uh, I guess, northern e England. Uh, we call it tea. You know, breakfast, lunch. You know, breakfast, dinner, tea, whatever the fuck. We're weirdos like that, I guess. Wow. Yeah, like, as long as I can aim at the target, it's a pretty thing. Yeah, I do appreciate the lurk from earlier. So, like, tell me about Corrupt. What happened to, what happened to his stream? Like, when you say crushed, do you mean, like, somebody botted it and it got shut down? Or did it get, like, did it get, like, DOS? What, what's going on? Hopefully you didn't get too stressed out over it. I didn't even know he got a stream today, to be honest. Unless he streamed within the six hours I've been streaming. Because, uh, I mean, how am I supposed to know if someone starts streaming, right? Yeah, this this gun is overpowered. There's no weakness to it. It was overpowered before I put points into commando. Now it's just a fucking ridiculous. There's no reason for me to even use my main weapons. Got issues with some program. OBS. I would hope OBS. Or X split, depends on what he's streaming with. Unless he like saw something hmm. Off oh, Steam. So you're saying the stream crashed? We'll go and see is this where? Huh. Oh, I hope he got it sorted. There's, I hear gunfire, I gotta go back. I need to... Somebody's starting a fight and I'm looking to finish a fight. I ain't doing no Halo 3 ending either, or Halo 2 ending. There's a zombie dog there. The fuck? There's a zombie, look at the zombie dog! It's fucking everything up! Oh, 
Holy shit. There's your reward. A bullet to the head. <laughs> a fucking dog messed everybody up. Oh dear. Yeah, hopefully he's doing all right. Yeah. Flappy. I don't okay, what, what, what I don't know what do you mean by flappy? Like I I I I, I don't know. Did you explain that like why are they all flappy? They don't they don't have wings. I'm happy to make them fly. I'll get fly, I'll give them I'll get, let them earn their wings, send them up to the pearly gates. Oh, he's back. Oh, give me a, give me a report. What's he What's he playing? Is he playing Mass Effect Three? I mean, if he's on PC. Yep. Oh, doggies! I thought I already cleared this area. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Like green dogs, pink dogs, green dudes, little dudes. All chaos. All oh, right, plus, okay, so it's just a wimp. Like, you know, these wimpy little raiders need to go. I understand you. Your friend made up any other clever words? It's okay, we're nearly there. Maya works around here usually, isn't there? Yep, there they are, right in queue. Oh, tap. Tabberies! Oh, the wild. Ooh. What a shame. Oh, fair, fair enough. Ah, okay, fair enough. Just flappy. Well, maybe he's got a lexicon hidden away for special occasions. He, wait, so he just looked at his stream, was like, uh, and then closed it, and then opened it and didn't figure out what the issue was. So he just, like, started streaming again without really fixing the issue by the sounds of it. Oh, hopefully his stream is, uh, hopefully his whatever was playing up just, you know, cooperates for the rest of his stream. Hopefully. See what happens. Oh, God. God, six hours deep, ten o'clock. I think I'll turn in these quests and then call it, and not call it a day, but take a break. At least for a while. At least for a temporary while, you know. Make most amount of sense, right? Got 
Playing the Andromeda Killer. Maybe I'll raid you guys over to him when we're done. And then in an hour's time, you can come back to me when I start streaming Mass Effect 3. <laughs> I'm joking, you can do whatever the hell you like. And on behalf of the Nuka Cola Corporation, I know. We'd like to welcome each and every one of you. Oh, don't tell me it's doing the full travel, the, the full ride cutscene. No, I just fucking accidentally hit Jet. I accidentally took some jet. Gonna make this even slower now. I know I've already done six hours, but I gotta stay up for another six hours because uh, I work night shifts and I'm doing work tomorrow. So that means I'm going to uh, sleep all day. That's the plan. Sleep all day. So that's why I'm staying up and doing long marathon. Here we are. Can't believe I accidentally took some jet. Fuck. Again, why do we need to do this cutscene again? We've already done it. Good for an intro, but on a revisit, fuck that. You you have to do this every time you revisit Nuka World. Alright, fuck this. I'm getting my phone. Text him. Call it a treat, but definitely call call it a piss break. <laughs> uh, I got my phone here, so I can still down about. Why, why does the subtitle say yeah, yeah? Also, I've got to go back to the bottling plant at some point to get the last medallion. Also, the cappy stuff as well. I need to do the. I need to just run around and find all the cappy stuff. Yeah! Subtitles act weird sometimes. Turn all these in first, I guess. Well, well. Word going around is there's some new raider boss tearing up the Commonwealth. <laughs> Not too shabby. I'll make sure your cut of any caps the outpost pulls in are waiting in your quarters. So, now that we got part one on the books, we can move on to part two, provisions. If you want to hang on to this newfound territory, you're going to need to convince a nearby settlement to start handing over shipments of supplies. I'll make sure those shipments get distributed direct to the outpost. Any caps they provide will be waiting in your trunk up in Fiztop. And the more a settlement produces for itself, the more of each we can get them to cough up. Now, like before, the method's up to you. You can try talking to them yourself, convince them to hand over the goods, or you and a crew can introduce some bullets to some new caps. Like you first pay out, pay out from the common. Okay. Well, 
What the fuck? I, the game's glitched. I can't actually. I can't actually do a fucking. Yeah, I've got. Let me load this. There, there's a. It's completely glitched. Can't even like pick a dialogue option. The subtitles. The subtitles are completely gone. What the fuck? My uh, my dialogue is completely locked up. What the fuck? Okay. Hand this in. Hand this in. Hope for the best. Skill, discretion, caps. The raider gang runs the operators. Hold all three in high regard. You don't wear suits and skirts though. Boss, so you gonna tell me what you think of the grenade? I can't talk. To, oh my god, the dialogue tree is completely fucked. I can't actually talk or interact. I think the game, the games might might be soft locked. I mean, I got that previous save to go back to, but. Oh, because that, that, that well, lesson learned. Don't do drugs, because uh, you will lose the ability to speak and choose, make choices for yourself, and it'll pretty much damage. Yeah. Don't winners don't do drugs. The last place we saved in the Commonwealth was, where is that, about 15 minutes ago. Oh, am I boring you, Alonso? I'm sorry. I'm joking. Joking. Alonso, thanks for stopping by, visiting. You have a good rest, and I'll see you when I see you. I'm, I'm joking, please. I didn't mean to. Uh. <laughs> All right, so you know what? Fuck this. We'll call it. We'll call it there. We'll have a break. Um, I guess I'll raid over to corrupt, and in about an hour or two, I'll probably do some Mass Effect free multiplayer. Uh, so hopefully you guys uh, enjoy enjoy. Ah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. Six hours of uh, Fallout 4. Probably continue on next week with Fallout 4. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, no. <laughs> uh, not much to raid. Not many people to raid. Just the free views if Alonzo hangs around for this one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure talking. Uh, again, nice, and it's also nice seeing you again. You know, fatty. You know, you, you, there was a period where you weren't weren't watching for a long time. Uh, good to see you back again. Good to see you in good health. So you know, welcome back to the internet. I should, I should, you know, that's a weird thing to say, but again, welcome back to the internet. Uh, Alonzo, thanks for popping in. Uh, Mysterious Thirteen, thanks for the works, and uh, I guess Ice Ice Lord, thanks for the follow. -up. All right, I've been rambling long enough. Let's just send you all over to corrupt. Good, 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 good. Bye.